Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. is right out in the open now. Makes my job a lot easier, but still it's like playing a game of chicken with these criminals as they take over every facet of our society and every other major nation and loot the living daylights out of it. The FDA has come out and rejected a ban on bisphenol A. And so people nationwide are demanding that it be labeled Companies are voluntarily labeling that their plastic is not the cancer-causing sterilant. So government is going to move, they're now announcing, as they've done with GMOs, to not let plastic be labeled. We're going to poison you, and we're not going to let you find out to make your own choice. Just like they've tried to take mercury out of uh, the label of the vaccines, but keep it in there. Follow the money, BPA makers, to gross $8 billion, thanks to FDA rejecting ban you will be fed toxic sterilants for men breast cancer causing agents for women we've got that report homeland security targets anti-abortion activist as domestic terrorist this has been going on for a long time peaceful anti-abortion activists i have video of them having their arms broken by police now it's torture in abu Ghraib or in dr mingala's dungeon but it's not torture when the police do it. And again, government hiding it in plain view by changing the name to pain compliance is trying to sell torture. I've seen state courts rule tasering to make you answer questions is good. Well, you can't make somebody violate their Fifth Amendment. You certainly can't torture them and make them speak. This is this hiding tyranny in plain view. That's coming up. Also, Arizona passes sweeping Internet censorship bill, legislation to make it illegal to use offensive language online. It's basically an FCC type deal at the state level. And uh, again, don't let people protest abortions, ban cussing. When you take anybody's free speech, oh, I disagree with your speech against abortion. Okay, well, you're going to lose your speech now. You've got to support everybody's free speech or you lose the free speech. Uh, continuing here, new powers to record every phone call and email make surveillance 60 million times worse. This has already been going on. They're just announcing in England what already is done here. Everything is already recorded. Everything is run through giant NSA hubs. Everything is put through these systems. And... The public is now just being acclimated. Just five years ago, the media is like, it's crazy. We're not spying on you. None of this is going on. You can believe us. We care about you. We would never spy. That's illegal to, yes, we're spying on everybody. So that's coming up. Also, this report from uh, last Friday got a lot of attention around the web and was linked for over the weekend on DrudgeReport.com. It's from InfoWars.com. Climate change skeptics, a sickness that must be treated, says Professor. Global warming alarmists equates climate denial with racism. And we've written past articles everywhere where it's not just her saying, you know, take people to re-education centers. They're saying arrest climate deniers. So these are authoritarians parading around who play this appeal to authority and say, I am your boss. I say you must believe what I say. And it's like Holocaust denial. That's what they say. You must be arrested for that. Well, you must be arrested for this. And now in Europe, if you criticize anything political, they arrest you. First it starts with Holocaust and moves on to that. No free speech. Uh, and these people just sit there and say, look, I work for the government, I work for academia, I am your God. Believe what I say or off with your head or off to the gulag, off to the retraining center. These are total authoritarians masquerading as liberals. There's also big gun grabs happening. We'll let you know about that straight ahead. 
little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months, simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Well, it's already the second day of April 2012. And we are going to be live here for the next three hours. I am Alex Jones, your host on this Monday edition. The websites are prisonplanet.tv and infowars.com. Let me tell you what is coming up today uh, during this transmission. Your phone calls, I'm going to have wide open phones. Right now, I'm going for the first time ever to control myself. I've said this about a thousand times, never been able to do it. Go through the basic stacks of news here to give you an idea of what's coming up. And then I'm going to go through different sectors of this throughout the broadcast today so we have time to properly cover it all. Let's just begin over here on my right-hand side. Man whose WMD lies led to 100,000 deaths in Iraq confesses all. Curveball, the Iraqi defector who supposedly caused us to go to war, admits it was all a lie. That is another lie, and the London Independent's biting into it. This is being aired on BBC television. Curveball came after the White House and Downing Street memos that we now have uh, confirmed that they said we're going to fix intelligence with the Office of Special Plans and make up lies and go and find people who will basically lie for us.
That is one article of probably 200. Let me go to the next one. Opposition says Syrian rebel fighters to get salaries, BBC. The, uh, the peaceful protesters that have rocket launchers and have been attacking Syria uh, and murdering people for a year and being called loving democracy activists are now to get public salaries funded by the U.S. government, your money, to overthrow the country and put al-Qaeda in charge, they've set on record, and kill the Christians. The groups that the, our government is funding are on record saying the first thing they're going to do is slaughter the Jews and Christians and Muslim uh, minority groups uh, there in the country and Saudi Arabian government is funding it all as well. Publicly. Continuing, nations pledge millions for Syrian opposition. A coalition of 70 partners, including the United States, pledged Sunday to send millions of dollars in communications equipment to Syria's opposition groups. They're just opposition groups, you know, that blow up police stations with bombs led by al-Qaeda. On record. But al-Qaeda's everywhere and I've got to get my rights up or they're going to get me. Uh, also coming up, I'm going to spend some time on the NFL. Something I don't normally talk about because they're talking about criminal charges for the bounty program that, by the way, is going on in most NFL teams forever. I mean, I wasn't even a good football player. Uh, and uh, but, you know, did did play high school football and was in some games and they they put me on the field just because I would accidentally hurt people routinely. Just had the knack for hurting people. And the, the, the coaches would salivate uh, over the fact that many times I would just hurt people. So uh, that's going on. I just had a knack for it. Uh, and uh, so uh, now it comes out they were paid to hurt people. And the, the very Justice Department that ships narcotics into the country... And the very Justice Department that ships guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment. And the very FBI crime lab caught framing thousands. Dr. Frederick Whitehurst, the head of it, went public and blew the whistle. They're going to now be the good guys, I guess, and start, start indicting players who would get $10,000 if they hurt a star player like Brett Favre. I mean, I mean, that's nothing to these guys making $10 million a year. It was just entertainment. I mean, that's what they've always, you're always trying to hurt the quarterback. I mean, you might as well just indict the entire NFL in its history. And Vince Lombardi, dig his body up, put it on display, and send the, 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 the body of Vince Lombardi to federal prison. Because that's what you do in football is hurt the quarterback. And anybody that says that isn't the case isn't living on planet Earth. Period. It's just so ridiculous. It's like that line from Apocalypse Now, which is based on some of the famous writings uh, of, of people that have been in combat. Folks like um, Kurt Vonnegut made these points and many others that we, we court-martial pilots who write cuss words on the sides of their airplanes or discipline them. But then we have them drop firebombs on cities full of children. It, again, it's this criminal government always running around acting like they're going after bad guys, arresting Willie Nelson for marijuana, trying to take Willie Nelson's house with the IRS, always targeting some high-profile person to get attention and scare people. It's about fear, mafia fear. The FBI and ATF barbecuing children at Waco. The CIA shipping narcotics in. All right, I'm trying to go through the news. I'm actually moving pretty quick here. I'm going to get into all of that today. I will cover it. And then I'm going to cover this little jewel right here. People thought that I posted a photograph of her that was not flattering or that Paul Watson did. Uh, actually, uh, and you can go up to InfoWars.com and see her photo. This is one of the flattering ones. And I'm not going off how she looks, but that became the whole discussion. Now, the, the, the dazed control freak, freak sneer like she's a demonic crocodile, that, that is important. But we can show folks maybe a document cam of this. Climate change skepticism, a sickness that must be treated, says Professor... 
global warming alarmist equates climate denial with racism. And this is standard operating procedure. This is what they say in the BBC and the London Telegraph and all over the news. Hundreds of them say, take people's children at birth to train them to protect the earth. Uh, arrest anyone who disagrees with the government on this. Arrest Lord Moncton. Arrest anyone that says that there's not a 100% consensus. Remember that hoax that there was a 100% consensus and, and no one could say that men and mankind, anthropogenic global warming wasn't the case and that it was an imminent thing that would kill us by 2010, flooded cities, Al Gore said in 2000. Polar bears can't swim, greatest land animal swimmer there is, showing uh, g g v cartoons to school children of drowned uh, polar bears. Total lie, total hoax, and they say, arrest us. I mean, I had the, the head of the zeitgeist movement on. I'm not attacking all the ideas of the zeitgeist movement. That they kicked off using my footage in their first film. I'm not attacking them, but I had the guy on the air. And I said, well, what if I won't go live in the big plastic city? What if I won't go along with what you're saying? What if I don't want to be part of this system and have a big computer run everything? Which, of course, the globalist program. He goes, well, you'll just have to be re-educated. You'll be sent to a re-education center. And then I reached out to him a few months ago to come on the show. And I said, look, I want to be friendly. I apologize if I yelled at you and stuff. I could have done that interview better. I really want to hear what you really think. And he said, fine, I'll come on, but here's my list of demands. And one of them was, I apologize for saying that... He said I'd have to be sent to a re-education center. And I remembered the interview like five years before, and I thought, well, let me go pull it up, or four years before. And I went and pulled the interview up, and sure enough, there the guy was saying that. I mean, that's the world of these people. Like, they say something, and it makes it so. You will apologize for saying I said something I said. And, 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 and this woman says you're going to be locked up. Because they say you're mentally ill, like Stalin did people. I mean, these are such authoritarians. They're so dangerous. All over the world, they're inoculating children without parental consent. They're now doing it in California. Abortions without parental consent with 10-year-old girls. The government fights that you can't have a GMO label on a product to know that it's been spliced with other plants and animals or grows its own pesticide inside it so bugs won't eat it. This is amazing. EPA, FDA doesn't want you to know when there's bisphenol A in products and is blocking a ban of it. But at least people know what BPA is now. It is, it, it is so over the top what we're facing. So coming up, new invasions by proxy of Syria, calling people with rocket launchers and plastic explosives peaceful protesters. And run by Al-Qaeda on record. It's on record Al-Qaeda's running it. Al-Qaeda works for the bankers who, who kidnapped America. People go, well, what do you mean Al-Qaeda attacked us? What do you mean our government runs Al-Qaeda? No, no, no. The criminal element that runs our country runs Al-Qaeda. You heard Colonel Schaefer on a month ago say that Anwar al-Awlaki, number three in Al-Qaeda, some argue number two, is an FBI asset. I mean, that's admitted AP, Reuters, Fox, but, 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 but just think about that. The guy on TV speaking for Al-Qaeda works for the U.S. government. And I'm supposed to not talk about 9-11 being an inside job. By inside job, inside criminal elements at the banker level, the New World Order level, wanted to take our liberties, wanted to set up a police state, wanted to federalize everything, wanted to bring in Agenda 21, and they did it. And they use Al-Qaeda everywhere. I'm not saying Al-Qaeda doesn't exist. I'm saying they're the bad guys. And they work for the New World Order. All right, we've got, when we come back, I'm getting into our top story. Our top story, straight ahead. They're coming for the guns. They've now openly announced it. Obama's coming for your guns. 
Folks, Iran and the Mideast nuclear mess is already ballooning our gas prices. Whether you're struggling with food costs, which are being blown up by gas costs now, or know that when the Mideast showdown explodes, whatever food supply you have is all you'll get because of huge panic demand. eFoods Direct Family Packs are the answer. Now the most affordable best food is saving you up to 50% compared to other poor quality food companies. The new Alex Jones Quick Fix Family Pack save you so much money, the savings from eating this food will actually help you pay your other bills. No matter what effect the Mideast crisis or the crashing economy have, you'll have food as delicious tonight as 25 years from now. Order now for 50% savings and free shipping on these affordable family packs. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. We all know the importance of having storable foods, but what about when the food runs out? What then? For real food independence, you need a supply of non-hybrid seeds. Introducing the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. The Survival Seed Vault is sealed for freshness and includes 20 varieties of easy-to-grow non-hybrid seeds for only $37.95. For less than 40 bucks, you've got real food independence. And the Survival Seed Vault includes detailed planting and seed-saving instructions. Imagine the barter power you'll have when the food supply does collapse. Right now, save $9 instantly when you buy three or more Survival Seed Vaults from MyPatriotSupply.com. Same-day shipping on all orders, plus free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness products at MyPatriotSupply.com. That's MyPatriotSupply.com. Claire, it's Anne. Hey, you know that hormone balancing product we talked about before? The all natural one, Amberin? Well, I gotta tell you this. Not only did Amberin stop my hot flashes, but since I started the Amberin program, I have lost so much weight. Seriously, even my belly fat, it's gone. I haven't been this thin in years. I feel great. Give me a call. The leading cause of weight gain in women over 40 is hormonal imbalance. Until you balance your hormones, it can be practically impossible to lose weight. Amberin restores hormonal balance naturally so the weight can just fall off yes even that stubborn belly fat plus amberin eliminates other symptoms of hormonal aging too so with your hormones in balance you can feel great and finally lose the weight be one of the first 50 callers right now and they'll send you a complimentary risk-free trial with a 30-day supply free call 1-800-408-1130 that's 1-800-408-1130 1-800-408-1130 Iodine protection packs from HempUSA.org are now in stock for immediate delivery worldwide. Our iodine protection packs include micro plant powder, green life kelp, red palm oil, and our clear roll-on iodine that will feed the body the iodine it needs. All iodine protection packs are in stock, save you money, and ship for free in all 50 states. Visit HempUSA.org or call 908-691-2608 today. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army. Hi, Ted Anderson. I'm placing a silver dollar in a book explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Was coming the NRA that's uh, normally pretty milk toast when it comes to defending the Second Amendment, loyal opposition of a sort at the top. They've gotten a little bit better over the last few years, thanks to gun owners of America pointing it out and some big fights on their board, but that's another issue. The NRA, National Rifle Association, came out a few months ago and said their internal analysis and lobbying sources show that Obama. And his memos say this as well, his promise to 
handgun policy center, violence policy center, all those different groups, Handgun Control Incorporated, their analysis shows that he does plan to try to ban semi-autos from manufacture and sale, not just from manufacture. And of course, you know, they're buying up 400 and something million hollow point bullets here, another 300 million uh, other types of rounds there. Every federal agency and state agency are arming to the teeth against the public because it's not our government. It works for the global mafia, the mega banks that have seized the country. Does that mean the average person in those bureaucracies is bad? No. Just like the average German soldier was not a bad person. But who's on top? Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan Chase, sworn to destroy this country's sovereignty, all on record shipping narcotics into the country and being above the law. Laundering the money, owning the aircraft, Bloomberg, AP, nobody gets in trouble. Wells Fargo, Wachovia. Government shipping guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment. In all the federal court rulings, narcotics trafficking. Their informants come in all the time and say, I was told to bring in these 10 tons. The government comes in and says, that's right, please drop the case. Of course, it's $500 billion a year in drugs coming in alone. Of course, the big banks that run the country and run the military and run the FBI are running it. The only people they're allowed to bust are the small potato people. The people that happen to have routes to sneak it in that cuts in on the big mafia's money. That's it. When they bust your kid using illegal drugs, they send them to college, prison college, HIV, hepatitis, tuberculosis college. When they get out, they're covered with tats head to foot. They know how to be a good punk now and a good informant to go lie on good citizens and send them to prison. That's why we have the biggest prison population in the world. We have a mafia that runs America. I'm sorry I'm digressing from our top news here. I told you that it was coming. NRA has warned that Obama does plan this in his second administration, like he told Medvedev. He said, I can do whatever I want once I'm reelected. It doesn't matter because the guy running against him, who's the preeminent, you know, Republican or the heir apparent, the media is saying. Mitt Romney has been for victim disarmament and abortion. Obama administration exploits Trayvon Martin shooting to push anti-gun race baiting rhetoric from Florida to Minnesota, from Wisconsin to Texas. Black youths are now mugging and beating up white people and Hispanics. And when it's in the news, you've got to fight to find out that they're racial attacks. Because again, the system creates the myth of this wanton white on black crime wave. They create this giant myth that all of this is going on. Then people think, well, it's my right to go to the local fair or go to the local event and beat up anybody who isn't black. And then when it happens, it'll be buried in the news that police say that the youth appear to be black and that it's racially motivated. But it's buried, buried in the articles that this is going on. And so why would the system do this? They want us at each other's throats big time. That's what all this is about. And as the depression gets worse and worse, the bankers don't want us aware of what they've done, unifying against their federal takeover force of the TSA, unifying against their internet censorship. Unif no, they want domestic unrest. The last time the globalists manipulated this, with the media's help in the late 1960s, major cities burned, mainly black areas, destroying their own infrastructure. Well, the NAACP is begging people not to follow the media's hype on this. And it was used to pass the 68 Gun Control Act. When we come back, I'm going to break down this article by Paul Joseph Watson and, of course, yours truly, Alex Jones. We've got huge news on a bunch of other fronts as well. It is a news overload today, and I'm going to give the number out and take your phone call. Stay with us. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. 
folks, Iran and the Mideast nuclear mess is already ballooning our gas prices. Whether you're struggling with food costs, which are being blown up by gas costs now, or know that when the Mideast showdown explodes, whatever food supply you have is all you'll get because of huge panic demand. eFood's direct family packs are the answer. Now the most affordable best food is saving you up to 50% compared to other poor quality food companies. The new Alex Jones Quick Fix Family Pack save you so much money, the savings from eating this food will actually help you pay your other bills. No matter what effect the Mideast crisis or the crashing economy have, you'll have food as delicious tonight as 25 years from now. Order now for 50% savings and free shipping on these affordable family packs. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. I'm going to give the number out here. Wide open telephones on any of the issues I've raised or any points you want to bring up. Just have your comment and your question ready because I'm going to try to move the next person as quickly as possible. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. Here again are some of the headlines at InfoWars.com right now. Ron Paul says GOP doesn't care about presidents who assassinate American citizens. Says that Republicans are in a race to see who can butcher the Bill of Rights and Constitution quicker. He said that on national television. We have that video up there on the site. Uh, also, Obama administration exploits Trayvon shootings to push anti-gun race baiting rhetoric. And they're openly saying they may try to now start restricting the Second Amendment. Supreme Court... Rule strip searches okay for minor offenses. Again, Supreme Court rules strip searches okay for minor offenses. Continuing, Arizona passes sweeping internet censorship bill. Massive report breaking at Infowars.com. Homeland Security targets anti abortion activist as domestic terrorist. Huge report, Infowars.com. Another report by Mike Adams, he concurs with my analysis of the Hunger Games. 
a glimpse of our own future if the cancerous growth of government is not checked. Another report, environmental toxins may be causing mass cancer wave. And the $15 trillion party, a article by the Economic Collapse. All of that and more at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We're also going to premiere here on the radio a short report on Edward Bernays. And another important report coming up today. So stay with us for that. Barack Obama, on record, told his cousin Odinga, a politician in Kenya, that he should stage riots back when Obama was a senator in Kenya to dispute an election between Muslims and Christians in that Muslim Christian nation, predominantly Christian, so that they would give him a slot in government. Odinga did that, and they created the prime ministership for him. The left is not the left. The right is not the right. These are all facsimiles in a controlled uh, debate. But what they've always had planned in this country is playing the population off against each other. Divide and conquer. Now, Biden has gone on CBS News, and we have clips of that and links to that in the article at Infowars.com over the weekend. And he said previous to that uh, on Friday as well. Now, two statements that they have to look at the self-defense right and repeal uh, people having the right to defend themselves, which is repealing common law. In England, they arrest you if you defend yourself in your own house, even with a butcher knife. They energetically go after you because you've got to be taught to be a total jellyfish because the instincts of the criminal government are to protect their criminal brethren on the ground, but more importantly, never send the message that you could fight back. Never send the message that you could stand up for yourself. You've seen the cases of you know one of the Beatles' uh, wife uh, broke a lamp over a guy in the house stabbing him and the police almost arrested him for it. Or people have stabbed intruders and gone to jail in England or, or been robbed three times and shoot them with a shotgun and go to jail. So that's what they're pushing now. And Obama has got all this civil unrest legislation in place all over the country. From New York to Minnesota, they're putting nighttime curfews in. In some areas of Arkansas, because of gang violence, they've got daytime curfews for adults as well and just set up checkpoints. They've declared a civil emergency. I've played those newscasts here. And that's what this is all about. I mean, every channel of TV hyping race, hyping attacks, hyping this. Whether Trayvon was in the right or the wrong or Zimmerman was in the right or the wrong, you got black neighbors that said they saw Trayvon on top of Zimmerman. But the media hardly shows that. ABC News has an interview. NBC has one. I've seen it one time. The police, that's what they say is in the report, is that's why they didn't arrest him, was that Trayvon was attacking him. Neighbors say the guy's you know, nose was bandaged and was bleeding, Zimmerman. None of that matters, okay? The point is the system has seized on this. And you've got the White House, MSNBC, the New Black Panther Party, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, all hyping civil unrest and violence, getting everybody hyped up. But you got the NAACP leadership coming out and saying this is divisive, this is going to cause problems, uh, this is going to cause all sorts of racial divisions. We do not need burning cities. And then I get these comments and emails and, and oh, ha, 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 Alex, you're just scared we're going to come get you in a race war and burn down your house. Listen, that is so childish and stupid. Whenever they have these riots, it burns down the neighborhoods and the businesses so that afterwards nobody comes in and rebuilds. And it destroys the economic viability. You know, I'm a pro-gun person, but where I live in the country, there's so much gunfire in the little ranchettes around me that it sounds like World War III. It's annoying to get up at 7 a.m. and like somebody's fire, you know, firing Sounds like 500 rounds of ammo, and then at noon it's happening. Just constant firing, 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 firing. I will assure you there won't be any rioting out where I live. I will assure you nobody's going to come there and racially do anything. Will whites get beat up going to the mall? 
Yes, they are right now. Every day, the reports are pouring out. Media never says it's racial until it comes out in court later. Are whites being attacked at the fair? You bet. Old ladies, old men especially, I guess. Uh, if they weren't anti-black before, they are now. And so they're entering a new phase where it's not going to be whites all bleeding heart. And whites all, I'm evil, tax me a whole bunch, take my rights, I want to prove I'm not racist. And now it's going to segue if the globalists have their way until, until a, a, a true divided country. The system doesn't want people at barbecues and football games getting along. They want, under the name of multiculturalism, to have everyone looking over their shoulder and thinking people don't like them. Thinking people are out to get them. And just like after the burning cities of the late 60s, they passed the 68 Gun Control Act, federalized stuff, that's what they're testing right now. They're thinking, I mean, it's 100%... Hyping violence, hyping race war, uh, NBC editing tapes to make Zimmerman sound racist, caught, uh, all of it, just like the lacrosse team. They are so desperate to find some anti-white information in the control corporate media that they said that the whole lacrosse team, oh, white men raping a black woman, this is pure gold. So whenever there's black on white crime, the media will not report it. But whenever they can find somewhere, I mean, Zimmerman looks Hispanic, but they call him white. And then people go, but he looks like Hispanic. Okay, he's a white Hispanic. Because they want to make it white people. You see? Because that's the narrative. They want to get a white versus black clash going here. I mean, Obama, top estimates are about 9% African. Because his dad is part Arab, part white, and part African. If you believe that guy that looks nothing like him is his dad. I mean, Obama looks like he might be 10% might be African somewhere back there. The word is from Wayne Madsen's investigation and stuff is, is that really uh, he's Caribbean. So he's got native background, Spanish background, black, you know, the whole nine yards. And that's exactly what Obama looks like. You know, handsome, good looking, Mediterranean, uh, you know, black, Hispanic, white mix. And... The point is, are we going to call him a white black person? Zimmerman is a white Hispanic. Now, of course, the first month it was a white guy. It's like a white guy did something. Get him, beat him up. And I'm tired of it. I mean, the white people I know are so politically correct that if they're in a business situation... I've had these discussions where, well, they were asking me, you know, what lady I talked to, but, 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 but the lady I talked to was black. Am I supposed to say it was the black lady? And the politically correct go, no, you weren't supposed to. But if it was a red-haired lady, you'd say a red-haired white lady or, or a brunette with glasses. I was a black guy with a red baseball cap. Ah, you don't even say. I saw comments on a, on a huge report we did for the Nightly News that then got posted to YouTube with Sheriff Arpaio and uh, Zulo, his top investigator, and others on the fake birth certificate. Arpaio gets up and says at the press conference, there's been a blackout on this information. And half the discussion was, see, he's racist. Blackout is code for black people. No, a blackout has always meant a blackout, like turn the lights out when a bombers come to bomb your city so nobody sees where they can bomb, or blacking things out, like the FBI blacked out the text of the document. That's what a blackout means, blacking it out, blackballed. Blacklisted. You know, uh, if, if they said you were communist in, in Hollywood, nothing to do with black people. And, and and then there's all the well, don't call them black people. Call them call them African Americans. And black folks are like, no, call us black. 
it's like Russell Means, you know, Native American leader. I'm like, Native American, he goes, please just call me an Indian. I don't like the political correctness. Again, it's this patronizing liberal destruction of language where they control the language and where you, and where Arpaio can't even say our 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 findings that this birth certificate's fake has been blacked out and he's a racist. I mean again, that's to segue into you don't believe global warming is happening or that it's man-made. They're saying all over the news arrest people. In fact, they're moving to do it in Europe. I, I saw a BBC article where they have undercover police in restaurants where if they hear you call someone homosexual, if you use the scientific term, or say black, you are arrested. I'm not kidding. You can pull that up. Robin Page, BBC reporter, said we deserve the same rights in rural areas as Muslims and homosexuals. And they said the word homosexual was hateful and arrested him. I had him on. And the news was like, good, he's been arrested. He said the word. And that's so some weirdo like this professor and all these other professors, climate change skepticism, a sickness that must be treated, says professor, global warming alarmist equates climate denial with racism. You see, nothing to do with race. When I criticize Obama for the NDAA, they say, you're not, the media comes and says, you're not really a racist, are you? No, I don't want to be secretly arrested. The system didn't put Obama in there to bring racial unity. The system wants divide and conquer. That's my point. I want everybody, no matter what race, color, creed they are, to have a good life and a good future and to, to live in harmony and peace. And as we go into this depression, as the system moves us towards civil unrest that they know is going to happen from this depression, they want to shift it into racial conflict so the government can be the referee. Listen to me carefully, because this is the heart of all of it. They don't want the civil unrest to be about the government or police brutality or corruption. Whether it's good or bad, and I say it's bad when a cop shoots a you know, black guy in handcuffs in the back and doesn't get in trouble. They don't hype that up. But when they got a case of a, quote, white guy where they can pull everybody against each other, then the media hypes it. It's about getting us all fighting so the system can play referee and then bring in even more political correctness where they sit up there like the gods and say, you're a racist. You know, when I had uh, History Channel here, multiple times, Discovery Channel, Nightline, MSNBC, it's always the same. I'll be talking about 9-11 being an inside job or government drug dealing, and they'll look at me and they'll say, you're not racist, are you? And I'm like, now I'm supposed to say, no, I don't beat my wife. Or no, I don't, you know, kidnap people. It's like saying, you're not a drug dealer, are you? And then they say, well, talking about big banks, you're not anti-Semitic, are you? And, and I explained to the last group that was here, I said, you injecting that is what's backfired now on the system. And now everybody is becoming anti-Semitic, a lot of people are, because you, you, you have any opinion on anything, the system uses that because it's a thing to hammer people down. It's something that's, oh no, I'm not that. And now it's used against everybody. They say that it's anti-Semitic to not believe man-made global warming. They actually say it. It has nothing to do with reality. It's political correctness as a weapon. Obama administration exploits Trayvon shooting to push anti-gun race-baiting rhetoric. Establishment is creating the myth of white on black violence to take everyone's rights. The Obama administration is supporting and its supporters and the establishment media are engaging in a transparent effort to whip up racial tension over the Trayvon Martin shooting in a bid to chill Second Amendment rights and polarize the American people as part of an election stunt. In doing so, they're manufacturing a race baiting myth that threatens to cause genuine racial unrest. It's already happening evil whites are getting what they deserve, so I'm told. 
the notion that white on black hate crimes are a problem of epidemic proportion, when in reality, federal crime statistics prove the opposite is true. Despite a witness telling Sanford police that he saw Martin attacking George Zimmerman, a black witness, before the fatal shot was fired, clearly suggesting Zimmerman was acting in self-defense, the administration has exploited the tragedy to create momentum for the right to self-defense to be abolished altogether. During a CBS News interview, which aired yesterday, Vice President Biden said the incident would reopen debate on the Stand Your Ground self-defense law, which also flagrantly lied about the Second Amendment. He went on to lie about it. And he went on, I'm going to come back and tell you about this and then go to your phone calls. But the point is, this is the re-election bid of Obama. This is it. And, and, and Media Matters and George Soros is divide and conquer, get us all fighting with each other, and then government will play the part of referee by coming in and taking everybody's liberties and freedoms and restricting the Second Amendment. I'd seen the longevity products work for many others. And so I bought a bunch of them, started using them, had a little bit of results, but I wasn't following the regimen every day. But Aaron Dykes in my office did and lost more than 60 pounds. When I saw those results, I said, I better follow my own advice. I started taking the longevity products and it's been incredible. 37 pounds in two months. Our bodies are amazing, and God gave us an incredible gift. But if our body doesn't have the tools it needs, all of the vitamins, all of the minerals, and the other key essential trace elements, we're not going to be healthy. Folks, this isn't hype. I only bring to my listeners products that I've tried myself and I truly believe in. And the amazing supplements available at InfoWarsTeam.com have certainly delivered my life. I hope you'll give them a try. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. BePrepared.com is making deals in April because you need to be prepared now and you need to save. BePrepared.com is the official site of Emergency Essentials, a 24-year leader in emergency preparedness supplies. Everything from long-term food storage to emergency kits, water storage and filtration to alternative light and heat sources. What's on sale? Starting today, save 28% on a freeze-dried garden vegetable combo, which includes peas, corn, beans, cauliflower, celery, and onions. Save 33% on the Catadine Hiker Microfilter. New instant white rice as low as $8.49 and a 72-hour MRE food and water supply, a $72 value for only $49.99 and much more at BePrepared.com. Call 800-999-1863 to experience exceptional customer service and our low price guarantee. That's 800-999-1863. Hurry, the BePrepared.com April sale starts today. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Attorney General said, he said, we've got to have the media brainwash the public against individuals owning firearms. And he has said in public letters, he believes in the abolition of the individual right to keep and bear arms, which is a declaration of war against our country and our republic. 
For far too long, the system has used political correctness to make us all bow down and worship the public criminals that run our lives. I mean, all the Corzine memos are public that he gave the order to steal the money. Nothing's happened to him six months in. Or five and a half months in, if you want to get technical. Uh, here's the Chicago Tribune. We were reporting on this last week. I've got to say, we're now driving the news. When government comes out with bioethicist groups and says kill babies up to age three, we force the mainstream media to cover it. We report first. We reported first last week that the government threw out the GMO labels. They got over a million confirmed signatures. The government threw out 70% of them and just said they only received 300 and something thousand to demand GMO labeling on all food. Again, the system is trying to block you at every single front from you being able to make your own decision. The government just blocked BPA ban. Most other countries, since we've been exposing it in the last decade, and others have taken the BPA out. Causes cancer, sterility, it's deadly. Just, just from our own sewage that gets into lakes and streams, it's killing the fish and making them sterile. Frogs, you name it. But the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, doesn't want you to be able to not be exposed to it. There's your criminal government. You know, instead of blacks, whites, Hispanics, Asians, all looking over each shoulders, you know, at each other and all paranoid because the media teaches us that we all hate each other. And, but the media is there to be the referee, though, and make sure we're all good boys and girls. How about we say, hey, we want labeling of uh, what has cross-species GMO in it. We want to know if plants grow their own pesticide so bugs won't eat it and then you feed it to us. That's the main thing causing all this liver failure on record in all the rodent studies. We want the BPA out. That's actually hurting all of us. But see, it doesn't hurt you in a humiliating way like a couple white guys beating some poor gay person to death, which they make a cause celeb. Or some poor black guy getting shot, whatever the case is, that makes a cause celeb. No, it's just cancer rates, thousands of percentile off the chart. A, a, a general death, a general curse. You see, we have to set the agenda, and more and more we are. That's why there's all this internet censorship coming. We got big news on that front coming up in a moment. Extremely unconstitutional out of Arizona. I'm going to get into the whole NFL situation. But Violence Policy Center, Handgun Control Incorporated, they've all said they plan to try to completely ban semi-autos in the next administration. The NRA has put out a uh, warning saying that they, quote, do plan to ban types of firearms in the next administration. Eric Holder has been caught shipping guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment and perjuring himself. So we'd be crazy not to know this is coming. And now Biden's saying, oh, yeah, we're going to bring up gun control now over Trayvon Martin. So now it'll be some racial right. Now owning guns is going to be racist. Just like if you don't think man-made global warming's real, you're racist. You're like, but that doesn't make any sense. It isn't supposed to. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com, or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for survivalseedbank.com. 
Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, we're into hour number two. We got a BBC headline here that I want to go over. Boeing tries to defy gravity. We're going to look at some of that coming up. Obama administration exploits Trayvon shooting to push anti-gun race-baiting rhetoric. We've also got curfews going on all over the United States uh, because of uh, racial unrest and racial attacks that are going on, but you have to dig to find that. Also, I'm going to give you my take at the bottom of the hour on the whole Saints bounty program of hurting people. I'm going to tie that in to some other key issues and give you a take I'll assure you you haven't heard yet. So that's all coming up. Also, big attacks on the First Amendment. That's all coming up. Really important intel. But right now, Jonathan in Kansas, then Rick, Blue, Keith, William, and others. Uh, Rick, you're on the air from New York. Welcome. Yeah, okay, we'll go to Jonathan in Kansas then. Go ahead, Jonathan. Yes, Alex, uh, I agree with you. I think that they are trying to uh, cause divide and conquer. I think it's better. Uh, what I would do, though, is I would argue, I would bring up all the cases of uh, bigotry through gun control, through there's what millions of people have died through that. But what I wanted to say was this was a distraction. And look what I found. It's, it's to distract us from what other stuff. Like, I found this video on YouTube, and it's a Pentagon briefing, and it's on removing the God gene. It came out, uh, it was dated. April 13th of 2005, and basically it talks about how vaccines are going to be used to, to go after uh, Islamic fundamentalists, and it says that it's going to attack their frontal lobe and cause them to be, well, basically to be lobotomized. Well, I know that they're coming out with vaccines that they admit will make you behave yourself, and they call them vaccines. They're really nanotech, genetic engineering mutation systems like vaccines so you won't have a heart attack vaccines so you won't ever want to use drugs because it destroys all of your endorphin receiver sites uh, i have not seen this pentagon briefing is it actual video of it yes it's go to youtube and type in pentagon briefing on removing the god gene the god gene pentagon briefing on removing the god gene and also i found something well, it's it's not related to that, but it, it might be related to Breitbart. And basically, I found that on March 1st, the U.S. Military Defense Information System Agency, DISA, had a total shutdown of Internet access and BlackBerry service, and they didn't give a specified reason. It may or may not have to do with Breitbart because considering that the Pentagon is the one that tracks down the enemies and whatnot. I mean, we all have all that um, legislation. Oh, yeah, they probably with, killed him, yeah. Yeah, well, there was an internet outage, and they basically, uh, they gave no specified reason for that whole day. They had it cut off. There was no internet. There was no BlackBerry. And we know that they tar uh, they're targeting everybody who's against Obama, and there's, um, you know, all this legislation of, NDAA and all that, and you have the targets list and this thing about citizens should be killed. If there's a blackout, a lot of time, if there's a blackout and keep people from knowing from other things getting released out. Well, let me tell you something. You brought up one of the most important things that I've been har uh, harping on for probably more than 10 years, and that's all the government reports I have seen, and I have seen Pentagon text talking about giving you a vaccine that attacks key areas of resistance in your in your brain, physically attacking areas that, well, well, the God gene 
you know, that make you really care about something and really stand for something. They want to make you biological androids. But the fact that you're saying you found this video, and we've now found it, is big news. Thank you so much. That's why I love taking calls. More calls straight ahead. Rick, Blue, Kenneth, William, and others. You've heard Alex explain how the Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced colloidal silver solutions, yet many are unaware of the entire function of the Silver Lung System and how it has been designed to deliver your silver solutions anywhere in or on the body. My name is Mario Cifaldi, and I'm the developer of the Silver Lungs Generator. Not only does the Silver Lung System produce endless colloidal and ionic silver solutions, it also comes equipped with the proper applicators and devices needed to deliver your silver solutions directly to key target areas. This includes the eyes, ears, nose, lungs, topically to the skin, and orally for the digestive system. Be sure to watch our new seven minute video tour of the Silver Lung System at www.silverlungs.com to learn more about how the Silver Lung System works. As well, we are always ready to answer any questions you may have. That's www.silverlungs.com. Folks, Iran and the Mideast nuclear mess is already ballooning our gas prices. Whether you're struggling with food costs, which are being blown up by gas costs now, or know that when the Mideast showdown explodes, whatever food supply you have is all you'll get because of huge panic demand. eFoods Direct Family Packs are the answer. Now the most affordable best food is saving you up to 50% compared to other poor quality food companies. The new Alex Jones Quick Fix Family Pack save you so much money, the savings from eating this food will actually help you pay your other bills. No matter what effect the Mideast crisis or the crashing economy have, you'll have food as delicious tonight as 25 years from now. Order now for 50% savings and free shipping on these affordable family packs. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We are back live into our number two on this second day of April, 2012, Monday edition. No guests today because I want to take calls and cover news. And I've already covered a smattering of about a third of the news. But I want to go back into some more of what I have already mentioned, but also get into a bunch of news I haven't covered yet. At the bottom of the hour... I'm going to spend about five minutes telling you what I think about the New Orleans Saints uh, scandal where the feds are saying they may start indicting people for racketeering, organized criminal behavior. I've got an article here out of USA Today. Tell us what you think. Are you in favor of criminal charges for bounty program, hurting people on purpose. So we're going to be breaking that down coming up at the bottom of the hour. And you're like, Alex, I thought football isn't important. This is about the mafia that runs our country posing like they're the good guys going after people for small fry stuff like this. How do you have criminals enforce the law? That's where I'm going with it. It's like having the UN say they're going to invade countries to bring peace or because environmental crimes are being committed. And all these top professors saying arrest people that don't agree with, with man-made climate change. These are authoritarians packaging it all in a sicky sweetness. This is real danger we're in. 
By the way, we had a caller in the last segment, uh, Jonathan, who said, hey, Alex, uh, I found a Pentagon briefing where they talk about removing the God gene with vaccines that actually attack your brain. And sure enough, it's true, Department of Defense. Now, when he said that, my brain clicked because I haven't had enough fluoride and mercury and things of the general public. And I was like, wait a minute, I've read that before. That's the vaccines that are going to stop rebellion, the vaccines that are going to neutralize us and turn us into basically zombies, uh, biological suboid servant androids. And sure enough, during the break, I went in there and looked, and there it is. So we're going to cue that up later. I mean, this is how much trouble we're in. It's one thing to have it on paper from them, but another thing to know. <laughs> this weekend, I saw it in the news that, oh, my gosh, some estimates are one in 56 now have autism in the U.S., one in 41 in South Korea. What's happening and, and one thing as well, it shows that iPads and things with small children wire their brains differently. And pesticides, and bisphenol A, and mercury in the vaccines. Folks, it's all of it. I go to restaurants, and I look, and, and look at people's children, and folks, these kids look like they've been run over. And it's going to become so apparent soon when half the people on your block have cancer. And when your child can't talk at age four, and when the curses of the eugenics slaughter hits you. In fact, I want to say something here right now, and then I'm going to your calls. The FBI will use any excuse to snoop around my office, to call my employees, to try to get people to say stuff about me. I can't even go to a gun show without people running up saying, oh, Alex, here's my ID, uh, uh, but I don't want to use it. Buy, buy me a gun and I'll pay you with two ATF guys standing there. And it's clearly a setup and I have to like get out of the building before they just claim I'm trying to buy a gun. I mean, this is my life. And then I realized the people trying to do this to me are literal victims of this. Their children, their grandchildren, their wives, their husbands are going to be affected by this. We're living in a science fiction movie. And I thought about it. I've got to control myself and not just be the primitive male I am. And I've got to intellectually get my act together and just present nothing but scientific reports. I've had an epiphany. Sure, I'll continue to have the radio show and do the nightly news and all of this. But, but, but what's really powerful is my scientific reports I do where I show all the admissions, all the documents, all the facts. And those type of reports reach millions of people and they're incontrovertible. But I'm going to ask you, what are you doing about this? My mother was over this weekend with my dad visiting with the grandchildren. And she's like, yeah, I saw it on the news. Like some reports are one in 80 something and some are one in 50 something. And, 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 and it's everywhere and they don't know what it is. And they don't know what it is. We're being soft killed. They turn up the chemicals, the biologicals, the radiologicals, the, the frequency pollution the ambient level gets louder and louder. It's like crickets that are first. Is that a cricket? And then, yeah, that, those are crickets. And pretty soon there's a million crickets going off in a room till it's deafening. Everything they do is psychological warfare driven. They admit it. They slowly roll out. They're surveilling us without warrants. Now they just totally admit it. We're watching, recording everything you're doing. They slowly roll out that they want to start aborting children after birth and killing old people and having euthanasia, and now they just admit it. They slowly say world government's coming and then say world government's your only hope. And they've hired armies of criminals to be in the bureaucracy and law enforcement, especially federal. And they've hired... Just vicious, hateful people who love preying on people and torturing and intimidating. Evil is loose, okay? And this is just the beginning. I mean, we got a government that'll hype up a, a, an unfortunate shooting and try to cause a race war and ship guns into Mexico and get caught blaming the Second Amendment and nobody gets in trouble. We've got a government run by mega banks.
who do whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want. All right, I'll go to your phone calls. It's just the magnitude of this information and how right we've been. And then during the break, I'm in there watching a Pentagon briefing where they admit we're going to uh, inject the Muslims with, with, with uh, a vaccine that makes them submit. It's a chemical lobotomy. We've gotten it. The young people now, you wonder why they can't get upset? It, they, have, they have done tests with monkeys and apes on giving them chemical cocktails in, into the bloodstream and then testing flicker rates on televisions to sync you up with it where you are a programmable biological android, a replicant. I'm living in Blade Runner here. And that's why a lot of the public can't focus. They, you can't get through to them. They don't have that urgency. They don't have that fighting spirit. They're gone. A lot of the public's gone, folks. They're gone. They're gone like a cousin, you know, who gets run over by a car and is brain damaged. Or like a grandparent who you visited your whole life and you go see them. They don't know who you are. They're gone. Public's gone. And even if we try to not eat GMO and try to be healthy, they're jacking the entire food supply. It gets into all the vegetables. They spray the vegetables with fluoride. They got chemtrails uh, with uh, barium salts, aluminum dioxide, thorium. They add uranium to the water supply. And people actually went and looked that up the last two years, so it forced media to cover it. And all over the country, news channels go and stick a Geiger counter up to the local water district, and it shows, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 times the radiation level. And they go, oh, we don't, and then, and then the police and everybody goes, we don't know, we don't know, because no one does know, because it's hiding in plain view. It's added to the water. I challenge newscasters to do it. They go out and do it, but their news editors won't let them say it's what the city buys to put in your water. They just say, gee, we don't know why there's so much radiation in the water. We're fed radiation. We're fed radiation. <laughs> I mean... The Pentagon says they're going to inject everybody to brain damage us. I mean, you know, I already knew it in paper. Oh, my God. There's another article by Aaron Dykes. Shocker, feminizing uranium, fluoride, and lithium in water to be exposed. Oh, yeah, that's from like a year ago, two years ago on Ventura's show. I'm done. Just stop. Just stop. Just take it down. Ugh. And it just goes on and on and on. And we're like rats in a Petri dish being killed. Let's go to Rick. I'm gonna, I'll go to all these calls for getting to the NFL stuff. Rick in New York, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, this is a first-time caller uh, from New York, uh, but I'm not gone. And I'm one of those Americans that are fighting back against this, this garbage that they're trying to force down our throat. But... On the 26th, I tried to call in uh, when you had Gerald Salente on with an idea. Well, it's not an idea. We know how it's being done. How American citizens can throw a monkey wrench into the corrupt system and cut off a major hidden funding supply of money that's being stolen from the American public. Um, every honest, constitutionally minded citizen uh, can find out in their small town or village whether the assets and the real estate and the bank accounts of those individuals in those towns are being used to, to funnel into globalist banks. And as I'm about to, I'm waiting online, your, your, uh, your call screener has got me stacked up. Uh, I'm hearing a guy calling in from Dallas talking about how his aunt's estate has been looted of $9 million dollars. When I heard that, I almost screamed through the line. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You said you wanted to talk to that guy off the air. Well, here's what we in New York found. And one of my partners is a former Vietnam intelligence officer that worked behind the lines. All right, we'll stay there. We're going to go to break and come back and have you talk about it. Yeah. Number one, they've got the comprehensive annual financial report, the real set of books. School districts, water districts, all the money. So about 75% goes offshore. You never see it. 
most of your tax money leaves directly to foreign banks on record. The small percentage that stays is just there to control people. No, I mean, we are forcing ourselves to face reality here. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. Would it save you time to get the best quality water filters and the best quality storable foods from one company? You bet it would, and now you can at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. Big Berkey water filter products and great tasting, long lasting, storable, wise foods are both now available on one website, BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. Wise foods, ready to eat meals, are packed in airtight nitrogen pouches and come with a 25 year shelf life. Big Berkey water filters are powerful enough to purify treated, untreated, or even stagnant pond water. Combine Berkey water filters with Wise Foods for an unbeatable preparedness combination. Get free shipping on every order over $50. And GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit Big B-E-R-K-E-Y waterfilters.com or call 877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-B-E-R-K-E-Y or go to BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. Diesel owners, have you had enough of hard starts, poor mileage, and poor performance? The cause is Stiction, a gummy residue that clings to injectors like cholesterol clings to arteries. Stiction robs your diesel engine of power, performance, and gas mileage. The answer, hot shot secret. This is Lee from Minnesota. I have a F-350 with a 6.0 diesel, and I had many injector problems and hard starting problems. After I added hot shot secret, it now starts better, feels stronger, and my mileage went up two miles per gallon. I recommend hot shot secret to anyone with a diesel engine. Hot Shot Secret, the only oil additive engineered to remove stiction in all diesel engines. Clean from the inside out with Hot Shot Secret. Available nationwide at all tractor supply stores or call 800-341-6516. That's 800-341-6516. Or go to hotshotsecret.com. Hot Shot Secret, powered by science. That's what it sounds like when a burglar kicks in the door of a dark house that looks like no one is home. Don't let your home be the next target. Make it look like someone is home watching television with fake TV. Fake TV is a small electronic device that makes the same light as a real television. So from outside, it looks like someone is home watching TV. Fake TV plugs in just like a lamp on a timer, but is far more convincing to burglars. Fake TV deters burglars, costs far less than an alarm, and is highly recommended by numerous police departments. Use it anytime you're away from home. To order your fake TV for only $34.95, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. Each additional fake TV is only $29.95, so get one for you and one for a loved one for safety, security, and peace of mind for both of you. Call 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. Faketv.com, the burglar deterrent. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I have been running around like a chicken with my head cut off during this break. We are saving the video right now. I am getting intense chills. If you watch this video or listen to this and don't get freaked out, then that means they've already got you. I have had nightmares about this for a decade since I learned of it from government documents that are public. 
of a time when they're going to release a communicable virus that attacks the key lobes of the brain, the, the frontal cerebral cortex, so that you can't have emotion anymore, and it attacks another side lobe that is associated with spiritual experiences. They call it the God gene. I just, during the last two segments, watched the Pentagon briefing, confirmed it's put out by the Pentagon, the Pentagon code. I separately had read this in MIT reports, but I see the military brass in the meeting talking about injecting the troops with a lobotomizer. I feel like I should stop the show and go run screaming down the street saying they're here, they're here, body snatchers. I mean, this is that big, but it's our own species and it's men in suits and military officers at a Pentagon briefing sitting there. Put it up on screen for folks, guys. It's DOD ID 149AZ2. These are brain scans of troops. Troops that are, quote, get back from combat. Oh my gosh, I remember Wired Magazine saying they give them amnesic drugs when they get back from combat so they don't remember what they did or when they serve four or five tours. Now when they burn them out with this, they give them a lobotomy shot and they go on to admit it's a lobotomy shot. Whoa, whoa. And again, it's how they hide this high treason in plain view. They hide this where, oh, yeah, we're going to kill babies up to age three. Yeah, we're shooting the troops up with this vaccine that lobotomizes them. It's for their own good. And, and, and the whole crew is in there with their mouths hanging open. When I made the video, brain-eating vaccines, and it only got like 300 and something thousand views. Guys, will you put up my brain-eating vaccine video that's on YouTube? Yeah, there's the uh, right middle frontal gyrus. After they've been given the vaccine, mm. they just knock out that brain activity. Wow. And these are projects in 2005 with our troops. You have a religious brain that's A. You have the non-religious brain. You see, the key thinking centers are right there on that right frontal lobe. And when, they, when they give you a lobotomy, that's what they hit. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I got nothing. And no one even cares. I'll probably be arrested because I'm not for lobotomizing everyone. I mean, it's just, it's beyond me what's going on here. And they're all over the news going, we're going to give your child a vaccine at school so they'll never want cigarettes or alcohol. What do you think cigarettes and alcohol mimic? They hit normal endorphin center receptor sites. It's a lobotomy. And they admit they've had these vaccines where there are viruses that go in. That's what this is. A live virus eats parts of your brain. And then I make a video about it, showing everybody the documents, and it's funny. That video should have 100 million views, not 300 and something thousand. And then I watched a bunch of people that were looking at my video laughing at me. You know, I know I said I'd get back to Rick and Blue and uh, Keith and, and William, everybody. But yes, uh, all over the country, they're taking basically all the middle class's money, 70 plus percent on average of all the money you invest locally, and all the fines and fees you pay, water district, school district, everything is taken offshore by global banking mafia using the Chicago mafia model of 1313. You don't know what that is? Look it up. I mean, yeah, that's what the, you got a bunch of psychos running things, okay? I mean, they put uranium and stuff in our water supply and are giving the troops, and they admit in this video, they're already giving troops this. They go, we're going to give it to the Muslims so they can't fight us. And the troops, when they come home, when they're done, we lobotomize them. And soon it'll be you're not patriotic if you don't do it. I don't even know if I can do the show. I may just go to dead air just to signify how big this is. I mean, I cannot just report on this like it's no big deal, and then all that does is acclimate people. Thank God they didn't get me, and thank God my parents didn't vaccinate me. I had like two or three vaccines. I mean, it's stuff like the not giving your children breast milk. The formula is designed to give your child a brain that's much smaller on record.
All of it. No wonder the poor, pathetic public are brain damaged. Zombies, well, I, I repent for ever being mean to them. These are, these are victims. My God, we're in a nation. They're already releasing this stuff. The autism rates are off the charts. It's We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. They put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gusset's got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection. So you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even if I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months, simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this bunch of phone calls that are holding. I'm going to try to calm myself a little bit. And then I'm going to get to this Pentagon briefing. This is the part that's not classified. We have discovered uh, documents online from the Pentagon that most of it is blacked out that it is a Pentagon research project uh, to have a virus go in and destroy areas of the brain associated uh, with, uh, well, the God gene. So that you can't have Muslim fanatics or Christian fanatics because they don't believe in God anymore. You don't have the higher emotions. Those are the things associated with resisting. It's also the things associated with troops that are traumatized with PTSD, so you just give them a lobotomy. Now, when I watched this video, it blew me away because everything in it I'd seen in BBC, AP, Reuters, MIT, but separate pieces. I mean, so I know what the guy's saying is real. I know this is a real Pentagon briefing. It just totally blows me away that stuff like this is going on in plain view. And then there's the um, Marshall program headline. 
because the head futurist of the Pentagon is named Marshall, but that's the headline in Wired magazine like eight years ago about in the future it won't be what weapons our troops have, but what drugs they're on. And they go into it there and that they've been testing this on the troops. I mean, they never had the troops serve more than two tours. Some are doing eight, nine tours. This is destroying them. And then the answer is give them a lobotomy. And then it turns out the scientist, or the gentleman that gave this uh, presentation to the Pentagon, it turns out that Joey Lombardi, the man that is in this 19, 2005 video at the Pentagon, it turns out he did interviews about it and said that, said that he wasn't supposed to talk about as much of it as he did. And so they did it as a form of whistleblowing, and then he was arrested in South America last year. So, see, a caller calls in with something like this. I race down this rabbit trail, and then when I hit the information, it just totally blows me away. <sighs> this isn't like going into a basement and finding 100 dead bodies. That's bad. This is knowing you're living in a giant test tube with a bunch of crazy people playing God, and I am angry about it. And we could turn this around anytime people would wake up to it, but it's just so beyond what anybody can even deal with. I don't even know what we did. Let's go back to Rick in New York. Rick, you were bringing up um, how you were on hold last week and didn't get on air, and the caller was talking about, and I did confirm who that caller is from a wealthy Texas family. He's published a book about it. Uh, and, and talking about the big bank stealing his grandmother's money uh, out of her investments. That's standard procedure. Standard stockbrokers are there to rob their clients. There are some moral ones out there, kind of like there are some rattlesnakes that won't bite you if you play with them. Um, you know, there's some scorpions that won't sting you, but generally they will. So it's the exception, not the rule. It's just a, it, this system is run by predators for predators. Uh, and our own naivete is what empowers it. But tell us in a nutshell what you discovered in New York. What we discovered in New York was that certain judges were lying on their financial forms and their ethics forms and their board of elections forms. Now, this can be applied to every state, every small town, every village in the United States to find out if honorable citizens' assets are being stolen and laundered out of their uh, towns and villages, and what they have to do is do, uh, if you have a judge or a clerk who's sworn an oath to uh, uh, portray correctly their assets of what they own, and they're not doing it, that's it. That's what this guy has discovered. That's what we have discovered. And how the American people can fight back is if you have a, a judge or a clerk that seems not to be following the Constitution, all you have to do is get his financial forms and his ethics forms and his board of elections forms. And what we found in New York are top judges in the state of New York lying on their financial forms, their ethics forms, and their board of elections. Of course, forms. they're all, I mean, almost all of them are total criminals. Anywhere you have all this gun control means you have criminals. Criminals don't want their prey armed. Well, do you think a tiger wants uh, a deer it's hunting in the forest of India to have an AK-47? What I understand. What we can do is drive these judges out of the system by the citizens getting... Exactly, but that's or what the tyranny is all about, is they know we're waking up, they're racing to tie us down. What we can do is fight back by getting their financial forms and ethics forms and matching them with their real property holdings, okay? That's their Achilles heel. We can drive these corrupt judges out who are controlling the police departments to use the police departments against us. We can choke off one of their major funding systems. Yeah, if the public yeah. only knew, if people think the government shipping guns into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment or shipping drugs into the country, that's nothing. They're involved in every racket, and they've got little special counties in every sector that engage in criminal activity with them. Like Williamson County, north of me, is one of the most evil counties in the world. Not just the U.S., just a center of pure evil with people posing as conservatives. Just like serial killers will wear a suit and tie. 
I mean, just I won't even enter Williamson County, just a den of pure wickedness. And uh, but the public's going to find out. I just everybody's going to find out. Drink your uranium, your fluoride, eat your GMO, take your shots, die of cancer. It's just all of it. Pure judgment. I appreciate your call. I mean, we're living in total psycho world. And the, and the only way it's happening is good people are naive sitting right next to the pure evil. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Blue in Tennessee. You're on the air, Blue. Thank you, Alex. Uh, first, I want to throw out an idea, and then I have a comment at the end on the um, Zimmerman case. The idea is when you have women make lemonade, and we can use this movie, The Hunting Game, as a way to expose Agenda 21 to middle school students as well as high schoolers, because once you explain what, this, what Agenda 21 is to them, they can actually see it. No, I agree. Uh, look, the system thinks a movie like Hunger Games is just going to condition us to our future. When we explain the Hunger Games is Agenda 21, it's a great way to wake people up. I totally agree. Yeah, I, I think if they're, I'm, I'm not clever enough to do a website, but if someone could do a website that says the story behind or the secret behind the Hunger Games, that's going to catch the kids' attention. That's going to say, oh, I want to see what the secret is. And then that's when we lay out the case of Agenda 21 in terms that they're going to understand and, and let them know that there is a great possibility within their lifetime that this could happen to their own children. I hear you. God bless you. Instead of dying in some jungle or woods fight like in the movie, they send you over to fight foreign enemies over opium and then give you a shot that basically lobotomizes your emotions before you come back. This is what this is what they're discussing. Yeah, I would love to have a contest about people putting up uh, posters and banners and yard signs around the movie theaters talking about this. And if someone can do this website. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, it's, you know, we shot a video of that same name, the, the Secret of the Hunger Games Revealed, and we shot another video of the similar headline that had about 100,000 views, uh, and people say, why are you covering the Hunger Games? Because by exposing the fact that that's what Agenda 21 actually says they want to establish, complete with gladiatorial events between the different 10 sectors, not 12, when people go find out, hey, this movie is based on real stuff, then that gives them an idea of where these environmentalists want to go. These are not environmentalists. I appreciate your points, Blue. Keith in Florida, you're on the air. Welcome. Hello, Alex. Um, I was calling uh, about uh, the article you all did a couple of weeks ago under the uh, Citizens Corps. Yes. I participated in a uh, community emergency response training program for like six weeks. They have it once a week. And they... Uh, uh, the local fire departments, and it's in every county in the country, under Homeland Security, they fund training that's held in churches and community centers. And then what raised the red flag is the guys that I went with, I said, you know what? I bet you at the end of this, they're going to bring in some guy that's uh, uh, higher up, and he's going to talk to us about watching terrorists. And then the move out of the Obama deception where you show where uh, the cop is coming up to the lady that's taking pictures of the dam, he described that to the T. And I said, this is all a setup. Well, what they do is, is they, uh, they promote people, and they have even old ladies like wanting to be involved, and basically they're uh, creating a bunch of spies, <laughs> and uh, they want everybody to spy on one another. And then they start having these events where they get together, and um, they have like blood drills and... Uh, search and rescue drills, and uh, terrorist training drills, and they have them at least once a month. And it gets people, everybody gets real hyped up. And some of these people, they get real serious. And I had to back off because I realized what they were doing. And I tried All right, to let me stop you. I wish you could shoot video of that because I knew that the FEMA Corps was covertly, quietly set up, not secretly, but quietly set up in 2002 as part of a division of, of AmeriCorps called Secure Corps. And so when Obama announced two weeks ago that FEMA officially runs it, it's gonna be called FEMA Corps, I already knew because I'd seen some of these volunteers at events. But yes, they get the Boy Scouts involved, literally going in their house and reporting back to the military 
uh, what guns they own. I mean, there's different variants. And, and people thought I was joking about this years ago. Now it's openly happening. You're saying you went and volunteered for this. T t tell us where it was, what happened, what the spying was like. Okay, what, th what they do is they'll ha even have training drills at military installations. And you go in, and they'll set up a scenario where you have to act like you're injured or, you know, they'll give you different role playing. In some cases, you actually have, act, act like you are, are a terrorist. And now, then, I was about to say, it always starts with we're helping people with hurricanes, but next it moves into we're fighting al-Qaeda, the next week marijuana growers, and then finally Christian conservative gun owners, it moves on to their real enemy. Right. And they, uh, they have you, and they're, they're constantly telling you, you don't know who a terrorist, a terrorist might be. Exactly. And you have to watch everybody around you. And uh, then as they have different individuals. They're like, hey, you do a really good job. We want you to start leading the program. And then people, you can start seeing this. They're, they feel empowered. They feel like they're, they're a part of the system. And then it's almost sickening because you realize that they're, I went in, I was wide awake. It was like I had the glasses on. I, I, I mean, I, I could see what was going on. And and I could see it was like well, I think you said the red pill or blue pill. It was like I saw what was going on, and I, and I tried to tell my friends, and of course they started calling me tinfoil and all that. And I was like, you know what? How did I know what they were going to do before they did it? Explain that to me. And then and everybody gets real quiet. But see, your friends don't care because it's the power of having a Fed act like they like them. And, of course, they want you to be the cannon fodder when they start a uh, Hitlerian-style takeover of America. That's what I'm telling you, folks. They've, they have been training to wage war against us during this banker takeover for decades. What made you, Keith, get involved? What's your county? Tell folks how you got signed up for it because... I think I ought to go get signed up for this, or we ought to send some of the crew over there to get signed up, because this is what goes on. I mean, I've actually caught some video of this, but uh, so we're told it's for hurricanes, everything's fine, but uh, give us details. Okay, so what you do is, there, uh, it's called citizenscorps.gov, uh, and it's uh, underserved community emergency response team. Yep. And you go there, and uh, they have forms, and or you can contact your local fire department. And because FEMA has a representative you know, under Homeland Security in every county in the country. And which, which, which again, is federalizing everything locally with the money, the training, and, and, and what you're saying is absolutely accurate. And then the cover is, I've seen this in rural areas, come on in to learn how to fight al-Qaeda. You get there, free coffee, donuts, they show you a 10-minute al-Qaeda video, and then they turn and say... Now we're going to start dealing with domestic terrorists, gun owners, right. and it totally flips. This is the enemy. These are the foreign invaders. These are the terrorists. This is this is actually happening. Okay, so so continue. So they get you in there, and they they get you in there, and then uh, basically you're talking about what uh, first aid, safety, emergency response, and then how to be like. Let's say, for instance, if a tornado comes in, they teach you how. To, you're the community leader. You get this special vest, uh, green vest uh, with third on it and a green uh, hard hat. And then uh, if the police come, they talk to you because they see you with the vest on. But what they do is they have other people within your zip code that are within like a uh, five-mile radius that that's a contact person. You, you all share each other's number. And then if you see things, then you share it with them and uh, – Etc. Yeah, so they use the tornado as the cover, which sounds reasonable. That should be locally organized, not federally. They get rid of the old civil defense. Then they say you're in a community, and then next they move in to their real target. Tell me about that. Right. Well, what they do is then you next thing you know that you're sit you you get these emails or notifications. Hey, we're having a training drill that's going to be at the uh, local uh, uh, military base, and we're having it there so that that way we can have a controlled environment and. Uh, and then uh, they do like a mock setup, like if somebody, there's a, a mysterious bag that was found. Or, in the, and they do in, indicate in the case of civil unrest. They oh, do of course. things like that. And so. You're going to let uh, us know who the troublemaker are and bring them back to the base. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I mean, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. and, and, and that's so true. And then the, what, the, uh, a friend of, uh, that I know that actually went, the way they recruit you is they go to your church, 
they go to uh, large corporations. They definitely come in, and then everybody gets this email. Hey, you can help your community and become a community emergency response team member. And we are meeting at this location. And, and, and let me tell you this little mind trick that they throw in. So federal like, posse. Go, go ahead. They, they throw in these little bags, okay? They, what, when they bring you all together at like a local uh, emergency training drill and you get your bags, well, they give some people crappy bags and then they give some people good bags. And then other people, they'll say things like, well, we, we got to try harder so that that way we get better bags. It's like, it's like seeing, uh, it, it's, it's pathetic. You see people feeding off of something that's... I was about to say, it's pathetic. not reasonable, hey, let's get ready for tornadoes, everybody works together. You can see it's all a mind game. It's like FBI looking for informants, but not an informant of real crime. They want to find the weak-minded people they can use who will lie and send people to the gulags. That's because they hired Marcus Wolf, the former head of the Stasi, on record, paid him a million dollars a year to train and set all this up. This is how the East Germans did it. And the, I mean, this is hell on earth. It's so beyond anything anybody could imagine. I've been to the urban drills where they train to line citizens up and shoot us. I have it on video. The Marines train to come into our cities, have our kids spy on us, and then line us up and shoot us. <laughs> That's who runs America. No wonder the military's waking up so fast. Anything else you want to add? Anything else you need to add to the story, sir? Well, I just want to say thank stay you. Stay there. Stay there. No, no, no. I want to hear more. and more calls coming up. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity. The Longevity products are designed to give you the real nutrition you need, and once you've got that, you don't have to eat as much to be satisfied. I've lost 37 pounds in two months simply getting the vitamins and minerals I need. Check it out for yourself. It's incredible. Go to InfoWarsTeam.com today and order your first canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine Complete Multivitamin Mineral Complex Dietary Supplement. That's InfoWarsTeam.com. Hi, I'm Mark Craighead, founder of Crossbreed Holsters. I designed our top-selling holster, the Super Tuck Deluxe, to solve the problems of being poked, pinched, and gouged while carrying concealed. The Super Tuck Deluxe is the most comfortable, most concealable holster on the market today. We offer a two-week free trial and a lifetime warranty. Visit us at CrossbreedHolsters.com. Don't forget, CrossbreedHolsters.com. In a coming apart world, you need something to keep it tied together. That something is Atwood Rope, the highest quality rope made in the USA from exotic braids for military, rescue, arborists, shipyards, tow line, or boating. Quality rope at affordable prices you and your customers can depend on. Find a dealer or shop online at atwoodrope.net. Enter promo code RADIO to receive 100 feet of 550 paracord free with purchase. Atwood Rope, working to keep the world tied together. Spring is here. Growing season. The economy is not getting any better. In fact, it's getting worse. Think about it. At this rate, how will your life be in a month or even a year? Maybe you've been putting things off, but the time to act is now. The country is running out of food. You need to get your seeds before it's too late. At OrganicaSeed.com, you'll find one of the largest online selections of heirloom seeds, survival seed packs, as well as the giant vegetable seed collections that can feed you and and your family for years. Grow your very own fresh vegetables, wheatgrass, fruits, herbs, rice, tea, coffee, and tobacco. With detailed growing guides available to you at no charge, you can maximize your harvest and investment. And the best part? All orders ship within 24 hours. So head over to OrganicaSeed.com. That's O-R-G-A-N-I-C-A Seed.com. OrganicaSeed.com today.
You know, I think about a new listener tuning in here and you're not hearing all the mainstream garbage and debates about stuff that doesn't matter. People must think we're completely crazy. Of course, if they go look it up, they'll find out there are hundreds of, quote, vaccines that are really live virus lobotomy weapons that eat different parts of the brain. That's coming up next hour. And this is being deployed against us, just like SV40 that's caused hundreds of millions of cancers. Our own government admits, I've done news reports on this, in the U.S. that was given to us through the polio vaccine. And you're like, well, I don't take that now. It's viral. It's communicable. I mean, do you understand, folks, that pediatric cancers, cancers of children, depending on what type you look at, but they're all up massively, some over 10,000%. In fact, I was looking this weekend, it was even higher than that. That's why I'm not worried about being arrested or set up or killed. I'm dead already. <laughs> you understand? When you watch Pentagon briefings about viruses that are going to lobotomize the troops, and then you have evidence they're already doing it, testing it on them. There's just no going back at that. There's no going back for me anymore. I'm living in a science fiction movie. And the, av the average person just cares about mega millions and the NFL and hears this and is like, oh, that guy's saying they give the troops shots. <sighs> We're in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. See, the globalists are trying to manage how to get us all brain damaged so they can then release mega plagues that kill almost everybody. They go underground, reemerge. They've got the seed vaults, the DNA vaults. I cover it in my film Endgame. I cover it in the new video we shot eight minutes long, The Secrets of Prometheus uh, film leaked. And I use something popular in culture like that to then get people to look at what's really happening. Uh, going back to the gentleman, yeah, I mean, you can find newscast of what he's talking about where they show you pieces of it. And again, these events, they get members of the community to go to it who think they're going to fight terrorists. And then you find out it's spying on your neighbor, but they don't care about that. They're finding the types that will do it. My dad was approached. Then he learned other dentists all over Austin were all approached by Homeland Security to spy on their their patients and violate their Hippocratic oath. They don't give those anymore. Doctor patient privilege, attorney client privilege. It's all being overthrown. Everything that was set up to protect us, everything to protect us from evil, it's all being removed. Shields are down. This country is going to be judged up one side and down the other. We're already being judged. Uh, go ahead, caller. Finish up, uh, Keith. Any other observations? Go ahead. You want to say something else? I was just going to say that um, they also they uh, they give you like a special badge and it makes you look feel like real official. It's not like a law enforcement badge, but it's like a corporate type of badge that reflects in uh, with uh, light on it. It uh, has your name and and I always thought it was funny that there's a number on it. Why is there a number on it? But um, they give you that. You put that on uh, on your vest that you have uh, your special vest that you get, and then. Um, they constantly are, are harping that, you know, you got to be on, on the lookout for terrorists and things of that nature. But there was just one last thing I wanted to mention. Alex, thank you, because what I do every day, I made it a point to I have to wake one person, and then I make sure I pass it on to my, my, my son is 10, and he, he knows what I'm going to say when I get around people, and, we, and he says, go to Infowars.com. So you, I, you got the next generation too, okay? So we want to make sure that everybody's informed, everybody's awake, and I make it my point to tell at least one person a day, and I tell them, if you look up what I'm telling you and you see that it's true, you got to promise me you tell one exactly. other person. Exactly. Perfect. Keith, love you, because I know if they kill me, you go on. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Folks, Iran and the Mideast nuclear mess is already ballooning our gas prices. 
Whether you're struggling with food costs, which are being blown up by gas costs now, or know that when the Mideast showdown explodes, whatever food supply you have is all you'll get because of huge panic demand, eFood's direct family packs are the answer. Now the most affordable best food is saving you up to 50% compared to other poor quality food companies. The new Alex Jones Quick Fix Family Pack save you so much money, the savings from eating this food will actually help you pay your other bills. No matter what effect the Mideast crisis or the crashing economy have, you'll have food as delicious tonight as 25 years from now. Order now for 50% savings and free shipping on these affordable family packs. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, we're already running out of time here. I've covered about 30% of the news. I've got huge biological weapon lobotomy news we need to get to. I've got uh, news about the NFL uh, and how they're about to go after them criminally for this uh, bounty program. I've got comments I want to make about the mega millions and lotteries in general. Huge internet spying being announced. I've got to get to it all. Uh, let's go to uh, William in Florida. You're on the air, William. Thanks for holding. Hi, Alex. How you doing, bud? I'm not doing too good. <laughs> I, I am not either. In the last month, I've been awakened, and I want to thank you. I want to do a shout-out to my friend Mike E., who awakened me. Um, I just want to talk about two organizations that I was involved with, or Illuminati organizations. I want to hear what you think about them. Um, the first one was the Jehovah Witness organization. My parents had me and them from about 5 to 17 total hunger game breeding ground for control. They want to control you. They don't want you to celebrate holidays. They just want you to go to their organization, do what they say. If you don't do what they say, you're kicked out. You can't talk to your family members. You can't talk to anybody. So that's my first organization I was highly involved in. Second one is another one called the Union League, which are all over the country. Um, they have them in Philadelphia. They have them in Chicago. They have them one here in Florida where I live now. I was in part of the Florida, I mean, I'm sorry, the Philadelphia chapter. I worked for them. Um, I was a banquet server. I seen, oh, I could tell you things I seen. Illuminati uh, uh, ceremonies, I seen it. Um, things of, of that nature and that went on in this club, which were basically for, like, bankers and political people that ran the city of, of Philadelphia. So it's enlightened me. I want to know if you know anything about those two organizations and what you think. Well, on the first one, I don't generally like any big organized group. And basically anything of any size generally gets, gets taken over. Uh, but on the Jehoshaphat uh, witness, you know, type groups, what happens is they point out a lot of real stuff that's going on in the world. And then they themselves, from what I've seen and heard, I don't want to pass judgment on people, you know, then create something kind of cult-like because you're only supposed to stay within that group because you're the chosen group and the end of the world's coming. Uh, all I know is, is it's our job to go out and warn everybody and do whatever we can. Now, as for all these different uh, subgroups within cities and regions, you probably saw Masonic-type rituals, and that's all part of just kind of the camp followers of, what, of whatever local establishment they've got in place in your area. So I don't know enough about the Union League uh, to be able to comment on that as well. All I know is that they put fluoride in the water to dumb us down. They want us to take vaccines to dumb us down, and I have the documents. They want us to take vaccines to reduce our fertility. They want us to drink out of bisphenol A to reduce our fertility. We're under chemical attack. The public is drunk on chemicals and biologicals. Kids are misbehaving because of the chemicals and biologicals and radiologicals. 
Uh, and I'm glad that you're, quote, awake now, but that's always a process for all of us. And uh, so I just say more power to you, my friend. Please continue to educate yourself and to reach out to others. I just want to say one more thing before I wind up. Regarding the Jehovah's Witnesses and their chosen group, as you said, I just want to let you know their new world that they call it, they call it the new world or the new system is what their people are going to be going to. That's the exact names that they use. But isn't it like only 200 and something thousand, they think, that are actually going to be part of the future? Yeah, that's what they say. And they also say that the dead are going to rise and walk on the earth. I've seen that in a few horror movies. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, man. All right. I appreciate your call. It's just overwhelming me. I just, I feel like I've been beat up right now. I tell you. All right. Um, look, I'm going to get to Chris. Kirk, Richard, Soldier, and others. But first, I got to get into some of this news. Stay with us. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Business Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live. Thank you so much for joining us here today. More of your calls and a ton of news coming up later uh, here in this third hour today. But let me first get to a subject of the psychological warfare grid we're in and that everything you see on the nightly news 
most of what you see in films, in text, is meant to influence you, to brainwash you. And the globalists think you're stupid. They write books on it, Edward Bernays 80 years ago, uh, Rothkop, head of the Kissinger Group, just a few years ago, admitting all of it. But those are publications for the intelligentsia. And most people who get into the intelligentsia don't feel sorry for the general public. They get off on the fact that they know how things really work and that the general public doesn't. And they use it as an advantage against everyone else. They see it as winning, as Charlie Sheen would say, winning to bring back uh, that anachronism. So we have all of these different systems being deployed and used against us. And in the last decade or so, I became aware of a new generation of vaccines. They're not really vaccines. They just call them that because they know you're acclimated to vaccines. They are genetically engineered viruses that are really nanotech. Or in some cases, they are bacteria carrying viruses. And they use the bacteria to then replicate, to deploy the viruses to ensure that the viruses take, and they're designed to eat certain brain tissues. Just like they announced they're coming out with a live virus that changes your heart and arteries to, quote, cure heart attacks, or, or viruses, because they don't say viruses until you actually read the, the research. It'll say vaccine to cure smoking, drinking, and heroin use, because it goes in and attacks the normal receptors you have for those drugs. Those drugs are mimicking things that naturally are occurring in your brain. So it is a lobotomy of sorts. And the Pentagon admits they're testing drugs, vaccines, brain manipulating systems in Wired Magazine seven, eight years ago. It's all over the place and they're deploying this and the evidence is they're releasing mosquitoes in Africa, uh, in Florida, in the U.S. that make you, you know, take your vaccines. They're, they're coming out with potatoes and uh, with beets and with bananas that have vaccines growing in them. It's called pharmacological crops. And the public's so ignorant. Every time I mention this, I get, you know, see comments or emails. Oh, Alex, there's no such thing. They won't type in pharmacological crop and find out it's real. So you're living in Buck Rogersville, but it's run by eugenicists that want to reduce your population. And they're so arrogant, they just sit back and see this all as a huge experiment. The UN's been caught giving people live polio shots, live HIV shots. They've been caught sterilizing people, giving them sterilant shots in the tetanus. All of it on record. And then the yuppies say, well, there are too many people. Really? Really? Are you going to actually go there and make that woman have a miscarriage? Are you going to kill that three-year-old baby you're saying kill after birth, as they're now promoting? Are you going to cut grandma off her health care? And here's something else. I know you get on a power trip imagining yourself as a controller. You are being fed the fluoride water and the radioactive isotope water that's put in your city water supply on record. You are being given the deadly vaccines. You're being given the GMO. The chemtrails are spraying you with barium salts, aluminum dioxide, thorium, and other things. I mean, if you're a new listener, I, I harped on this for six months two years ago and finally saw articles in Texas, Illinois, Oklahoma, Florida, New York, Michigan. And I actually a few times contacted them and said, yeah, no, we got calls about you saying that they're adding radioactive isotopes, but the city says that that's classified for Homeland Security. What is exactly in the fluoride they're buying? We did test the pipes and they are 120 times or 60 times. It varied city to city. Higher radiation and there is radiation in the pipes, just like you said. But we're doing a report on why is it radioactive? And then the city says we don't know and everyone acts like they're dumb. Because if you admit the government's putting radiation, radioactive isotopes in your water, the whole system is going to come down. And you know what? It needs to come down.
This whole alien eugenic system they put on top of our republic 100 years ago is pure death. We're the fattest, we're the dumbest, we're the sickest with cancer and diabetes and neurological disorders and the charts are going straight up and Europe's right behind us, Japan's right behind us. They're killing us. I go to the mall now and about a third of the kids that walk by me look like they've been beaten upside the head with a baseball bat. I mean, you know sick kids with neurological disorders. That's why my wife wants to go out to eat and stuff and I just can't do it anymore. I mean, I can't do it anymore. I can't go out in public anymore and see the, the kids dying all around me, the people with cancer everywhere, the people with... And it's all funny to the government. It's all these thugs and wannabe tough guys make me sick. And it's just going to get... It's going to get crazier and crazier till nobody can deny it anymore. And then the system's going to say, we got cures for everything that's wrong with you. And, and, and so the people are going to be slaves to the system that are in the upper echelon just to be able to survive the weapon attacks they're already under. I mean, here is the attorney general saying he had meetings with the media on how to put out anti-gun messages to brainwash the public. Here it is. Uh, I've also asked the school board to make a part of every day some kind of anti-violence, anti-gun message. Every day, every school, at every level. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. That's enough. We also want to uh, have... He goes on to say, have tattletale squads when the carpet cleaners at your house and sees a gun case, call the police on you, even though the gun's legal. Create the perception that guns are illegal. Notice he said anti-violence, anti-gun. Psychological warfare equate guns with violence. Always blame the gun for what a crazy person does. Not the fact that on average 15 times more often, or some cases 20-something, but let's be conservative, do people use guns against the commission of a crime. These are all psychological warfare groups. They see you as a computer that they're programming. They see you as a joke. They're going to use you. I know a lot of you are laughing, but when your child gets diagnosed with cancer, I try to stop it. When you get diagnosed with it very young and, and you won't believe it then, when they finally tell you that you're inoperable, you're going to die, I want you at least to admit we were right and try to warn some people before you die. That's all I want. Now, this next little clip is was released by researcher. That's not the scientist that's in the video. Joey Lombardi, and we've checked, it is a Pentagon uh, briefing that went on, dealing with a program, because separately when I watched this, I knew it was real when they showed it to me when a caller mentioned it, because I'd seen it in Wired Magazine, I'd seen it in BBC, but like, oh, you won't be depressed anymore. Guys, search vaccine to cure depression. And it said it hits the same area of the brain associated with spirituality. But, but once you don't have all these strong emotions, once you're not in tune to things, once you're not feeling, you'll be a good android. See, first the globalists tell us we don't have a spirit and that we don't have free will. Now they want to erase what has the free will, or at least what our spirit is interfacing with in the cerebral cortex. And so they say troops coming home that are depressed will give them this. And I can show you Associated Press, Reuters, Daily Mail. New vaccine to cure depression. New vaccine to cure drug abuse. Hits the same area of the brain. And people that have taken these in trials are just like, oh yes, I like that. That's very nice. They just, they're biological androids. Hey, go over there and move those rocks. Okay, I will. It's not like a lobotomy where you can't talk. It's just you don't have that essence anymore. The fluoride targets the pineal gland. I'm going to come back and play this clip. Then I'm going to play a clip from a film I did two years ago, a special piece called Brain Eating Vaccines. Everybody's like, ah, you know, it's funny. There it is, new treatment for depression, vaccines. People have severe depression and don't respond to medication or psychiatric therapy have only one choice, electroshock therapy. But now there's a new option for these people that offers some of the same benefits. Oh, was electroshock running Blue lightning over your frontal lobes, but with none of the pitfalls. Oh. And it goes on to 
to say that they use... Is that a vaccine article? Because I don't see it in the article. They're not saying what the treatment is. The headline is vaccine, new vaccine to cure depression. That's it. Boom. And, 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 and that was some other type of uh, uh, treatment. I'm going to look it up and see what that was. I'll find it during the break. It doesn't matter. We're going to break here in just a moment. Uh, the issue here is that I'm just trying to warn people. And I don't claim to be the best at this. All I know is I've done the research, it's real, and then some. I mean, people think I'm fear-mongering. Folks, it's so much crazier than I can tell you. It's so much further along. And I've got all the Rockefeller documents. I've got them all. I mean, I'll just do it during the break. I'm going to type in vaccine to, 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 to stop drug abuse, vaccine to cure depression, uh, vaccine to cure being angry, Vaccine to cure being anxious. Go look it up for yourself. And they're not even vaccines. They're live viruses that go in and eat certain areas of your brain. It's all coming up after the break. Infowars.com. You don't need me to tell you that humanity is in a deep crisis. Everyone can feel it. We know a tectonic struggle is now taking place between the forces of freedom and those who love darkness, bondage, and enslavement. Yes, my friends, evil is rising. But take heart, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Recently, New World Order operative Hillary Clinton admitted they're losing the info war. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. The globalists are scared. They've overreached. The future of the info war is in your hands. Join PrisonPlanet.tv. Download the thousands of special video reports, ebooks, and more, and get them out to everyone you know. Continue to spread the word about the broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and every other globalist propaganda platform. We are going to use their system against them. The info war now goes into high gear. There are limitless ways to go into business for yourself, but most involve substantial capital and risk. Our InfoWarsTeam.com operation is different. We promote premium quality health, energy, and skincare products using dynamic, caring personalities and state-of-the-art media technology to spread a powerful message of health, wealth, longevity, and freedom. This low-cost business opportunity is designed for full-time or part-time, so you can work as little or as much as you'd like. It is you that defines the reward level. Whether you are seeking a few hundred extra dollars per month or a six or even seven figure annual income, it's up to you. Want to find out more? Shoot an email with InfoWars Team in the subject line to InfoWars Team Coordinator MZ and tell him a little bit about yourself. That's the initials MZ at InfoWarsTeam.com. That's MZ at InfoWarsTeam.com. I only promote products that I truly believe in, and these are phenomenal. Whatever you do, visit InfoWarsTeam.com. Are you storing food? Prepared families are storing food for months and years, but only have enough fuel stored for days or weeks. Stretch your fuel storage by harnessing the power of the sun with a sun oven. Food can be baked, boiled, or steamed at temperatures of 360 to 400 degrees with the power of the sun. You can use the sun for 50 to 80% of your cooking, allowing you to preserve your fuel storage for rainy days. Sun-baked foods stay moister and have less shrinkage and do not burn. Sun-baked roasts are tastier and more succulent, and sun-baked bread has unparalleled taste and texture. Water can be heated in a sun oven for purification or personal hygiene. For the past 26 years, sun ovens have been proudly made in the U.S. They're durable, have a long life, and come with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Don't be fooled by cheap imitations. For a discount coupon, visit sunoven.com forward slash radio. That's sunoven.com forward slash radio. Do you know which 37 crucial food items are going to fly off the shelves when the next disaster hits? If you don't, you and your family may be without food and waiting in long food lines after a big disaster strikes. You would be surprised how many people don't have these food items right now. 
123survivalplan.com has set up a For Patriots Only video with inside information on the 37 food items that will sell out first when the next disaster strikes. The video on 123survivalplan.com has crucial information you and your family need to prepare for any disaster, natural or man-made. And you won't have to be afraid of going hungry or being sent to a FEMA refugee camp. See the video that over one million other smart patriots have already seen in the last four months. Prepare now. Go to 123survivalplan.com and learn which 37 food items you should hoard. Easy to remember. 123survivalplan.com. Again, that's 123survivalplan.com. Okay, we're back, and I did find the articles. Jab that could put a stop to stress without slowing us down. It goes on to say you won't be angry, you won't get upset anymore, you'll just be able to work and won't have any more painful emotions. And it goes on with the University of California developing it, part of a wide spectrum of anti-depression vaccines. And again, we'll show folks that headline if they want to be able to go and uh, find that article for themselves. There's a whole bunch of these, and our big article breaks it all down. This is from 2010, Brain Eating Vaccines, The Reality Behind the Conspiracy Theory. Wired Magazine hit piece attempts to debunk legitimate concerns about agenda to chemically lobotomize general public through vaccines water supply. And all I was doing was linking to Department of Defense, Daily Mail, and other reports where they said they're going to cure racism by giving us vaccines that eat the part of the brain that can recognize cultural or racial differences. Uh, in fact, I forgot that part. In fact, that was in the news last week. Guys, uh, search uh, drug could cure racism. Well, that just means getting rid of a part of the brain that makes different calculations. Folks, they're openly saying arrest us if we don't believe in man-made global warming. They're authoritarians. We're all in danger. This is a scientific dictatorship. If corrupt elites had things that could make the public servile, would they use them? You bet. They now admit they put the fluoride in the water to make a servile and to calcify the pineal gland, the gland that does a chemical reaction with the cerebral cortex for deep spiritual moments. When people can't be bought for money, when people are ready to give their lives for others, the system is afraid of that. Let's go to this Pentagon briefing that got leaked. I've now learned that the guy that released this was arrested. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I tell you, I'm glad that caller called. I've been doing a lot of research during, during the breaks. The gentleman that leaked this, and the Pentagon has confirmed this is their video, the guy that released this was arrested, who was part of the program. Here is a Pentagon briefing seven years ago in 2005. Here it is. A light lit up um, the, the right middle frontal gyrus. Uh, shown here, and uh, that's a part of the brain that's associated with theory of mind. Uh, it's a part of the brain that, that uh, has to do with intents and, and beliefs and, and desires. Uh, in contrast, in marked contrast, here's an individual who would uh, not particularly uh, self-describe as, as religious, and when they're read a religious text, <clears throat> what you see is that this part of the brain called the anterior insula lights up. This is a part of the brain that's associated with, with disgust or displeasure on hearing something. Uh, so you're suggesting I take a CT scan with me when I'm uh, evaluating people to determine whether I put a bullet in their head? So, so um, the, the data that I'm presenting here uh, supports uh, the, the concept that, that we're proposing. Uh, and I think that uh, we would not propose to do uh, CT scans or fMRIs on on individuals out in the hinterlands of, of Afghanistan. The virus would immunize against this VMAT2 gene, and that would would have the effect that you see here, which is it's essentially to turn a fanatic into a a, a normal person. And we think that will have major effects in the Middle East. How would you suggest that this is going to be dispersed? Aerosol. Well, so, so hey, the, the present uh, plan... Back it up, back it up, back it up 10 seconds. How do you propose this be dispersed, aerosols? Again, won't sell out, has hardcore beliefs in the spiritual center of the brain. 
We'll make them a normal person, these people that don't care. You see this professor at this big UN event in Europe calling for people's arrest and says we're mentally ill and have to be re-educated into accepting what they say. It's about making you do what they say. Headline, climate change skeptic, a sickness that must be treated, says professor. And I've asked Paul to do a whole article going through how they're saying this everywhere. They're saying arrest people. These are authoritarians. They'll do this. And by the way, the whistleblower that released this went on to break down, and I've separately confirmed what's in here separately from government documents that they're already now giving this to the troops, many of them, and that they're looking at putting it in the flu shots. We're in so much trouble. We're, the public are zombies, a lot of them, that got that flu shot. Let's, that's why they can't care anymore. Let's go back to the video. Go back. Essentially go. to turn a fanatic into a, a, a normal person. And we think that will have major effects in the Middle East. How would you suggest that this is going to be dispersed, the aerosol? Well, so, so the, the present uh, plan and the tests that we've done so far um, have used uh, uh, respiratory viruses uh, such as flu or, or uh, rhinoviruses. And uh, we believe that that's a satisfactory way to get the exposure of the largest uh, part of the population. Most of us, of course, have, ha have been exposed to both of those viruses. All right, and, folks, and we'll be back with the rest of it. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com, or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. Folks, Iran and the Mideast nuclear mess is already ballooning our gas prices. Whether you're struggling with food costs, which are being blown up by gas costs now, or know that when the Mideast showdown explodes, whatever food supply you have is all you'll get because of huge panic demand. eFoods Direct Family Packs are the answer. Now the most affordable best food is saving you up to 50% compared to other poor quality food companies. The new Alex Jones Quick Fix Family Pack save you so much money, the savings from eating this food will actually help you pay your other bills. No matter what effect the Mideast crisis or the crashing economy have, you'll have food as delicious tonight as 25 years from now. Order now for 50% savings and free shipping on these affordable family packs. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee Where they make blue diamond gusset jeans They so pride in every stitch Guarantee you love the way they fit Put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gusset's got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection. So you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. From the front lines of the information war, it's Alex Jones. So, you refuse to turn your firearms in. 
you refuse because it's an absolute belief that it's your right and it, it's a line in the sand. Well, they're just going to give you vaccines that destroy the resistance sector of your brain. Also, the area that sees and recognizes incredible beauty that is associated with the highest levels of brainwave activity. That's what happens in spiritual experiences. And I actually see atheists uh, on this video online going, good, it's time to shut up all you religious people. This isn't just about religion. It's about serious beliefs. This is associated with the spark of special human intellect. This is lobotomizing people. And notice the people that call themselves the left are like, good, lobotomize the public. Arrest them if they don't believe in climate change. Let us run things. They're not liberals. This woman, give me a document camp shot hour for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Climate change skepticism, a sickness that must be treated, says Professor. And when I called Paul about his article this weekend that went mega viral and got picked up by scores of newspapers, linking to her paper, she was at the big UN meeting, Planet Under Pressure for Earth Hour. I said, this isn't enough. I want links to all the other places where this isn't just her. They're openly saying everywhere, arrest everybody. Arrest and re-educate us. That's who we're dealing with. You don't think people like that would not release stuff like this in a New York minute? Zoom in a little bit more on that for folks. Used to, we could zoom right in and show people the text. Here, I'll put it over there. You can show people over there. So I'm going to put some other articles down there for the record. Climate change skepticism, a sickness. It must be treated, says Professor. Global warming alarmist equates climate change with racism. And so you've got to arrest these evil people. Let me show you some other stuff. Vaccine to stop heart attacks could be here in five years. Oh, they care about us. Then I got a big stack of articles we were able to dig up. Vaccines for drug addiction. Make the kids take them. Oh, What's it do? It's a live virus that eats holes in your brain. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it is the end of humanity. They're getting us all ready to give us soft kill weapons that make us servile jellyfish, that even as they release the mega plagues of the future and almost everybody's dying, folks will just be calm. I don't know what the TV say. Okay. And they'll just die with pleasure because those areas of their brain have been destroyed. And that's why they want the Arab Spring to roll in, with the inoculations, with the chemtrailing, they've got to get in the airspace. We're hit with aluminum, we're hit with barium, all of it attacks the brain. We're hit with the fluoride, hits the exact areas that they associated in mammal studies. And they admit in these documents, they've been doing this to monkeys and now people at Abu Ghraib at the research facility. And at Camp X-Ray in Guantanamo. That's what they want. They want you to, oh man, I, I just can't believe this. I've always known this issue is ever, and then for seven years, this has been out there and it got leaked last year and they arrested the guy that released this video we're playing right now. Uh, let, 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 let's play just four minutes of it from the start. And I got Watson doing a big article on this, but uh, if you want to find the article about how you won't be depressed anymore, Daily Mail, jab that could put a stop to stress without slowing us down. Forget the age-old remedies of yoga, meditation, and popping pills. Receiving colonic stress, chronic stress, could soon be as simple as having an injection, according to scientists. And see, they hide it in plain view. Oh, we're just looking at a stress reliever, like a cup of tea in the afternoon. <laughs> Academics say they're close to developing the first vaccine for stress, a single jab that could help us relax without slowing down, being a good worker. And I went and looked it up, and it's one of the live viruses. After 30 years of research into cures for stress, Dr. Robert Saposky, professor of neuroscience at Stanford University in California, believes it's possible to alter brain chemistry to create a state of focused calm. They're going to make us the better human. They're going to arrest us if we don't do what they say for climate change and give them all the power, too. Aren't we lucky we've got them, Professor 
claims he is on the path to genetically engineered formula that would resolve the need for relaxation or prescription drugs. And it goes on with a special vaccine biologically designed by destroying brain cells that are associated with causing the problem. Hmm. Oh, yes, a shot. I mean, it's like a science fiction movie. You're going to have the shot and then no more problems, no more pain. Back to the Pentagon briefing. With the Pentagon code, I checked it all. The Pentagon, they arrested the guy that released this. Joey Lombardi. I want to get a hold of him if he's out of jail. He got arrested last year. Let's go ahead and go to this clip. Here it is. Excuse me. On the left over here, we have individuals who are religious fun fundamentalists, religious fanatics. And this is the expression, uh, RT-PCR, real-time PCR uh, expression of the VMAT2 gene. Over here, Dr. we have Hello. individuals. In so so, so let, let me complete. So over here, we have uh, individuals who are not particularly uh, fundamentalists, not particularly religious. And you can see there's a, a much reduced uh, expression of, of this particular gene, the, the VMAT2 uh, gene. Uh, another evidence that, that supports our, our hypothesis for the development of, of, of this um, approach. Uh, so what you, what you see here is by, by, by spreading this virus, we're going to eliminate individuals from donning on a bomb vest and going into a market and blowing up the market. So our, our hypothesis is that these are fanatical people, uh, that they have overexpression of the VMAT2 gene and that by vaccinating them against this, we'll eliminate this behavior. Uh, so we have some, some very, very uh, remarkable data in this next slide. Uh, here we have two uh, brain scans. These are fMRIs. Uh, these are two different individuals with different levels of expression of VMAT2. Uh, on Back it up 10 seconds. Thank you. What do you think elites are going to do with weapons? They're going to develop this stuff they have, and they're going to deploy it. You think autism going from 1 in 25,000 30 years ago to 1 in 50-something now? You think cancer up over 10,000 percentage points in children, 2,000 percentage points in adults plus? Diabetes up 3,000 plus percent type 2 alone? Juvenile onset e epidemic, neurological disorders epidemic, bowel disorders epidemic? Do you think they're going to stop? No, they're not going to stop. And now I went just during breaks and dug up that they are giving experimental vaccines for depression to the troops. That, that's what these are. Oh, you're not going to be worried anymore that you've been here seven tours. We're going to give you this shot, Bubba. You're going to get a fever and you ain't going to worry about nothing ever again. You're going to go home and work at Walmart and then die of the cancer shots we already gave you. <laughs> and I know all these people out there, because I talk to them sometimes, they're like, okay, well, you can't beat this. I'm going to join it. Join with the devil, basically? You don't join with that, you idiot. All you do is fight this. We've got to bring down the New World Order. We've got to arrest all these people. And notice, they always get you to get rid of the Bill of Rights and Constitution for some outside enemy, like the Muslims. The Muslims, the New World Order extremist Muslims are run by the globalists. On record, I got stacks of news where they admit Al-Qaeda is the group they're using to go into Syria. You hear these Pentagon doctors and psychiatrists going, oh, so you say this will stop a guy going to a market to blow people up? Well, I like, and it'll stop troops from coming home and committing suicide. Because you won't have that fanatic over the edge willingness. That's what they're scared of. They're scared of when they push you around and try to hurt you and steal what you got, you're going to fight back. They're scared of it. You give John Wayne a shot of this, he goes over in the corner and does what he's told. And it's communicable. And listen, it's not just this Pentagon briefing. I just read to you where, oh, you take this shot, you're not going to get upset anymore. You know what? I like the fact I get upset. It gives me energy. That's the... My love is passionate and my anger is passionate. And you want to get rid of that. You want to get rid of the fact that I'm willing to die. You don't like the fact I'm committed. You don't like the fact that I have this connection to God.
It's like the song, yeah, here come the visions, here come the crystal visions. I keep my visions to myself. The system knows with their brain scans, folks. They know you're outside this world. They know you're connected to things that are bigger. They don't like it. Beethoven, music, science, quantum mechanics, and every study is associated with the, with the spiritual zones that they associate spirituality with. They want that off. They want it cut off. If that isn't the devil, I don't know what is. They want to shut that down. Finish up the clip. I'll try to shut up. Here it is. Here we have two uh, brain scans. These are fMRIs. Uh, these are two different individuals with different levels of expression of VMAT2. Uh, on top uh, is an individual who's a religious fanatic and individual, and we've repeated this numerous times, that, that uh, has uh, high levels of VMAT2. Now, um, this individual down here who had low levels of the BMAT2 gene, this individual would uh, self-describe as, as, as not particularly religious. In, in each case, uh, these individuals were, were read a religious text. Uh, this individual uh, light lit up um, this, the right middle frontal gyrus uh, shown here. And uh, that's a part of the brain that's associated with theory of mind. Uh, it's a part of the brain that, that uh, has to do with intents and, and beliefs and, and desires. Uh, in contrast, in marked contrast, here's an individual who would uh, not particularly uh, self-describe as, as religious. And when they're read a religious text, <clears throat> what you see is that this part of the brain called the anterior insula lights up. This is a part of the brain that's associated with, with disgust or displeasure on hearing something. Uh, and pause. And I take and a back it up. Now notice, th that part of the brain's not just associated in the front right lobe with, with religion. It's, again, mathematics, Beethoven, fires in the minds of men. What did Thomas Jefferson say? He said, we will ignite fires in the minds of men. That's, that's the fire. I feel it right now. The fire. The fire! They want to extinguish the fire! This is the greatest abomination I've ever seen. I declare war against these people. They want some lower brain. You see what they just showed? Some lower brain, not associated with genius, some lower animal level that's disgusted by the fire in the mind. Oh, I mean, think of an enemy that comes for our fire. That's who I am. They want my soul. And they cannot have it. By the way, burning out my brain won't blot that out. The spirit only interfaces with the brain. You think you're going to blot out just by screwing up my earth suit? You got another thing coming. Remember, the Luciferians, they are religious. They are aware of that, but they're tuned to darkness. This is the greatest abomination I've ever seen. And it's hidden in plain view like, hey, trendies, there's going to be a shot. We'll have focus calm. No more will you be upset. No more will you have a conscience. Let's go back to it. This is so sick. And when they're read a religious text, <clears throat> what you see is that this part of the brain called the anterior insula lights up. This is a part of the brain that's associated with, with disgust or displeasure on hearing or something. Or being a scumbag. Uh, Are you suggesting I take a CT scan with me when I'm uh, evaluating people to determine whether I put a bullet in their head? So, so, um... It pause. The, the data... So do you suggest I have a CT scan out in the field? See if I put a bullet in their head? These guys are all real tough. You know, they're all out to do whatever they want. You know, we're fighting Al-Qaeda. We we get tough. Hey, we're, we're the government doctors. Hey, you know, we decide who gets the shots. We decide who we lobotomize. You've already been drinking it your whole life, pal, to make sure you never break through and stop caring about yourself and care about the creation of the creator and, 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 and a greater whole. They don't want you and your DNA and everything you are to resonate. They want to keep you down here at an animal level. They want to shut down the intent, the spark to creation, the spark to resistance, the spark to everything that makes humans so great. I've told you, looking at old films and things, that electric spark that was in everybody's eyes 100 years ago, 70 years ago, it's dimmer and dimmer. It's only in children's eyes now. 
And they admit, I saw big studies in Reuters this week, that the computers are rewiring kids' brains, something we wrote about years ago, and actually dumbing them down. I mean, you, you, you know, we're a cursed nation. And it's going to get a lot. We're a cursed world where the Pentagon sits around calmly talking about giving troops and hajis, as they call them racistly. A vac Cheney talked about a race-specific weapon just to kill all the Arabs. Let's go ahead and go back to the tape. Let's go back. Here it is. That I'm presenting here uh, supports uh, the, the concept that, that we're proposing. Uh, and I think that uh, we would not propose to do... Uh, CT scans or fMRIs on on individuals out in the hinterlands of, of Afghanistan. The virus would immunize against this VMAT2 gene, and that would would have the effect that you see here, which is back it up again, back it up again, back it up again, a, back it up a, again, back it up ten seconds. Notice they all use words like the virus would go after the gene. No. They're calling the gene that grew your brain that way, it, it eats the tissue. So it's a virus eating the tissue. But they call it the news, focus calm, not brain eating, not taking your conscience, focus calm. Oh, the virus inoculates against this gene. The virus is attacking your brain. Your brain, they're saying, is a disease because they're diseased, crazy scientific control freaks. Most of them are, 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 are a bunch of illiterate, gibbering morons who can hardly talk, by the way. Let's go back to the enemy's minion. Here it is. Uh, CT scans or fMRIs on, on individuals out in the hinterlands of, of Afghanistan. The virus would immunize against this VMAT2 gene, and that would, would have the effect that you see here, which is it's essentially to turn a fanatic into a, a, a normal person. And we think that will have major effects in the Middle East. How would you suggest that this is going to be dispersed, the aerosol? Well, so, so the, the present uh, plan and the tests that we've done so far um, have used uh, uh, respiratory viruses. Uh, such as flu or, or uh, rhinoviruses, and uh, we believe that that's a satisfactory way to get the exposure of the largest uh, part of the population. Most of us, of course, have, ha have been exposed to both of those viruses. Stop right there. And the guy asked, how do we deploy it? And he said, you just release it on everybody. <laughs> what did they find with the H1N1? Turns out it was released five years ago. And the Centers for Disease Control admitted it was a, quote, simulant tracker virus. It was a brain eater. Folks, have you lost your power and wanted to simply flip a switch to get the lights back on? If so, this is going to be the most important message you'll ever hear. Because there's never been a better time to get ready for the winter power outages ahead. Here's why. Solar power generators are now available from our friends at Solutions from Science, one of our oldest sponsors. Their emergency backup systems provide life-saving electrical power when you need it most. Unlike gas generators, a solar generator runs quietly, emits no fumes, and produces electricity from the sun. It's like having an electric power plant running quietly in your own home. Whether it's ice storms, brownouts, or blackouts, you'll never have to suffer through painful power outages again. When the power goes out this winter, you'll be ready with a solar power generator from Solutions from Science. Go to MySolarBackup.com for more information. That's MySolarBackup.com or call 877-327-0365. What is the most abundant resource on Earth? Water. It's essential for sustaining life, but it's not always the most available. When disaster strikes, water quickly vanishes from store shelves, like it did during 9-11, Katrina, Japan, and in Joplin. Three days without water and your body begins to shut down. Don't risk being without an abundant supply of water when the next disaster hits. Get a FlowJack hand well pump. The affordable FlowJack drops right into almost any well and is easy to install without having to remove the existing pump, giving you immediate access to plenty of cool, clean water. You could risk your family's health on a limited supply of stored water, or you could be prepared with the reliable, affordable FlowJack backup hand pump kit for only $3.99 complete. See how it works at FlowJack.com, spelled F-L-O-J-A-K.com. Be sure to spell F-L-O-J-A-K.com. O J A K dot com or call eight five five four flowjack eight five five four flowjack that's eight five five four three five six five two five proudly made in America flowjack hand well pumps peace of mind in a box. 
We all know the importance of having storable foods, but what about when the food runs out? What then? For real food independence, you need a supply of non-hybrid seeds. Introducing the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. The Survival Seed Vault is sealed for freshness and includes 20 varieties of easy-to-grow non-hybrid seeds for only $37.95. For less than 40 bucks, you've got real food independence. And the Survival Seed Vault includes detailed planting and seed-saving instructions. Imagine the barter power you'll have when the food supply does collapse. Right now, save $9 instantly when you buy three or more Survival Seed Vaults from MyPatriotSupply.com. Same-day shipping on all orders, plus free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness products at MyPatriotSupply.com. That's MyPatriotSupply.com. This next video is of David Rothkop. This article is up at Infowars.com if you want to watch the full 30-something minute video. But David Rothkop, former head of the Kissinger Group, CEO of Gretchen Rothkop, and author of Power, Inc. He also wrote uh, Superclass and admits the whole global government. Uh, he's been on the show before, refused to come back on the second time. He thought, I'd just come on and thought you'd be reasoned with. You know, you're part of the super class of media, Alex. That's how they get people to get involved. You heard him on the show. But here is Rothkop talking about civil unrest, substantive civil unrest in the U.S. By the bankers engineering this collapse, so they hope to trigger a race war instead and out of it get gun control. By the way, Bill Clinton has come out. Kurt Nemo's doing an article on it. Kurt, uh, uh, Ob Obama has called for gun control. Uh, after Trayvon Martin, so is Joe Biden, and now Bill Clinton says restrict guns. And now the FBI is being sent in, so we'll never find out the truth, what happened with Zimmerman, because this is purely political, trying to get a race war going. That's one of our top articles in Infowars.com. I had a lot of news I didn't get to today because I spun off uh, into this whole brain-eating vaccine situation because what does any of this matter if they just start releasing stuff that openly reduces our IQs and kills that spark of intuition and understanding we have, which is what they're attacking. Only the strongest of us have not succumbed to this. Most people know what's going on, but say, what are you going to do? They've lost their will to resist, their basic human will. But those people don't count. I'm sorry, they're just casualties here. We got to triage them. Those of us that haven't been completely destroyed by this have got to get with others and start warning people and start saying no to the system. Here's the David Rothkop uh, clip. Go ahead and roll it. In 1950, if you dropped out of high school, you'd go get a job at the GM factory, have a decent life, have a middle-class life, have opportunity for your children. If you drop out of high school now, you are destined to live in poverty. You will not compete with people from these other places in the world. You probably will not have social programs. And there will be substantial unrest in the United States, I think, as a consequence of all of this. Um, so the balance matters. And it's not to say, leave it to the government. And it's not to say, leave it to the private sector. It's to say that this struggle that's been going on for four or 500 years to get the balance right and is an ongoing struggle is something we need to revisit. We need to ask those questions. Why are there corporations? Why is there government? What is the right mix between those things? What can right. we learn from history? So um, now the system is acting like they're trying to fix what they've engineered. This is like a few years before they imploded this market and by design to get more power. Greenspan says, oh, we have a rational exuberance. Boy, you guys screwed up when he got rid of Glass-Steagall. That's all that's going on. We're going to have a big nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock, where I'm going to get into all this and more and a bunch of news I didn't get to. I mean, some of this, some of this stuff. Homeland Security targets anti-abortion activists as domestic terrorists. Never got to that. Got to some calls, but not everybody holding. If you call back tomorrow, Reverend Bruce, soldier in Washington, Richard, Kurt, Chris, I'll get to you. 
I, I just ran out of time, and that's the danger of taking calls. <laughs> I mean that sarcastically, is a lot of times they'll take me in a different direction. England is announcing all phone calls and email to be recorded in live time by the state. Total big brother, just in your face. Uh, same thing's already going on here. It's all just off the charts. Uh, the Supreme Court has decided the government can track your cell phones without warrants here in the U.S. It's just, it's total tyranny. Total tyranny. Look out. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. A little over a year ago, I began to do a lot of research into why, even though I had a pretty good-sized meal, that I was still starving. And my research led me to a well-known fact that most of the soils that we grow our crops on here in the United States and across the industrialized world are almost completely depleted of almost all of the key minerals and trace elements that our bodies need to rebuild themselves, fight off cancer, and be healthy. I then searched out the best vitamin and mineral company out there and discovered Longevity.